All right. Uh, welcome to this Pokemon Coliseum race uh, where we'll be racing Umbreon versus Croconaw or Fire Alligator. Uh, and we'll get more into that as we go. Uh, and I'd just like to say I'm so thankful to be here and to be able to do this race with this Faro. Uh, it's been a long time in the working and finally we get to showcase Kahlo here, which is an incredible game. So uh, I'm just going to toss it over to everyone else for a quick before we start the race. No, you. Okay. I'm Juan. I do a lot of routing for this game. I haven't ran it recently, but um, I've played every Pokemon here that you have to run. I've routed every category. I, I know way too much about this game. <laughs> Uh, I'm Chrysosaurus. I am the complete opposite. I have never ran this game, but I run a game with po animations turned on, so that's essentially the same thing, right? Yeah. Right? <laughs> pretty much. Pretty much. Okay, and I'm Beryl. I run this in Pokemon XD. So I'm going to attempt a frame perfect manip that runs at 60 frames per second, so I will need silence to be able to hear the audio cue until the cutscene plays. So Eva, whenever you're ready. Yeah. So uh, I'll just do a countdown on three, two, one, and then we'll yep. get going. So okay, three, two, one, go. Okay. Now you can clap. <laughs> now you now you can clap. <laughs> <laughs> so we had to do a. Essentially, a frame perfect animate, uh, uh, frame perfect uh, RNG manipulation. It is a frame. Per it is 60 FPS on a on the GameCube, so it is isn't very difficult to hit. And the reason why we're doing this ma manipulation is because we want to get ourselves a very good Espeon, which is going to be for well, both of our runners the main one of two main Pokemon that we're going to be using throughout the entire run. The second one will be well, depending on which race that we're looking at, a, a bit different. You'll actually be seeing. Actually, we're seeing, we're seeing one of them right now, thanks to our main character, who is known as Wes. And the only question we have to ask is, is Wes okay? <laughs> I'm not sure he is. On one hand, you can think Wes is okay because he just blew up a building, but that could also mean other things. <laughs> he might have some <laughs> other issues. Yeah. I think he'll be fine. He'll be fine in this round, at least. Uh, the one who's not going to be fine is me, having to look at Umbreon for four hours. <laughs> Yeah, so right off the bat, we just blew up a base. We stole this machine. We'll talk about it a little more later. Um, and yeah, we, we start off with Umbreon and Espeon here. And they're both level 25, so none of this start from level 5 and pick, slowly pick up. It, we're, we're starting off at strong. Yep, and you'll see me. Uh, you actually saw me not setting up the Manip. Uh, we can get into that a little bit later once we've described more of the fundamentals of the game. But essentially, uh, it would take way too long for me to set up the manip uh, because I uh, need to manip both of my starters instead of just one. Yeah, for usual any percent runs, you usually just manip Espeon and you'll get a, a second Pokemon later on. But Ava won't be doing that and we'll start with es uh, Espeon and Umbreon. So um, the strats I will be using in this upcoming fight will also change because of that, because I actually don't know my stats. Uh, the Zigzagoon that will just about to fight right now uh, actually isn't guaranteed. Like normally it's a guaranteed range, so you just taunt because the Zigzagoons can tail whip or tackle, and you'd rather them tail whip. So taunting it to uh, make sure that they don't tail whip because it cancels the move itself just because of how taunt works. You can't use like uh, non-attacking moves basically once you've been taunted. Uh, but instead, I'll just be going for Bite, because I have no clue how good or bad my Espeon is. Imagine if you just get a God Espeon right now, just because. <laughs> True. Would be funny. I have no clue. I have no clue. 70 HP, that's like... <gasps> oh my god, I actually got it. I head? think I did. Oh. I got it! I got oh it! I got god. it! Woo! That's crazy. I was just hoping that the croc knows good. I was uh, speaking of, like, I also killed Zigzagoon, so accomplishments for me as well, you know? <laughs> yeah. So hitting my nip means all these Zigzagoons are guaranteed. Uh, Umbreon just needs to taunt. Um, if they use an attacking move, oh well. If they don't use an attacking move, it's fast. Yeah, but since I since I couldn't do the manip, I use Bite instead because it's then the best option. Because if I don't kill, it's just super slow. <laughs> yeah, the safe strat is to double target here. Yeah. And so as Crisis pointed out, there is animations on and they can't be turned off. Um, so we'll be seeing on Ava's screen Umbreon using taunt a lot, actually. Yeah, there's quite a bit of taunt usage. It's uh, It comes up quite frequently. And on some fights, not only does it save animations, it's like super useful for some upcoming fights that you will see where we actually want to cancel some status moves pretty badly. There is a very notorious fight coming up at around like 115 in the run. That's like, 
yeah, it's, having taunt is super, super valuable in that fight. So, But we'll mention that when that gets around. I mean, we didn't mention like the most important thing about the, these two games. The fact that every fight, will, uh, with maybe some exceptions, will be double fights. We will be having two Pokemon out, and the opponent will always have two Pokemon out. And this is makes it for more of an interesting Pokemon run than others, because double battles have always been in other Pokemon games, just not to the much of this game where every single fight is a double fight. So it makes... Some things more interest, some things better, some things worse, and it depends on who who you ask. Right, there'll be one fight where it's one v one. There'll be some weird fights where it'll be two v one, but we'll get into that when we get to that. Yeah, but as a general rule, these are all double battles, which is hugely impactful for how this game is routed. Uh, and I mean, you'll definitely get to see that throughout the run, um, how the double battle mechanic impacts things with. AI and how AI likes to target things, and uh, this game is very fun because of that because 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 AI or because your stats actually change what the AI Pokemon does, and you have two Pokemon that change this variable. A lot of the runs feel very different, very very different. But I think this is also something we'll get back to at a later time. And now you actually see me taunt because I know since I killed Zigzagoon, these Wishmore are actually guaranteed. We haven't even talked about the story much. Um... We're basically in Phoenix City, based off of Phoenix, Arizona. Um, we arrive, saw people unloading a bag. There's a person in there. We confronted them. We're in a fight. Yep, pretty much. So that is all the story that we've gotten to so far. Uh, as someone, I, I've ran this game a considerable amount, considering how poorly I know the story. Uh, I could probably explain it, but I'm not sure I could explain it that pretty well. I don't know. I just like my... I like my silly animations and my uh, silly little AI targeting, and uh, you know I like my spreadsheets because this game. If you if you don't like, this game does feel a bit like you're running a 3D uh, animated spreadsheet. Yeah. At points. <laughs> I mean, the spreadsheets are one thing, but notes are another thing. Later on, we're gonna have a fight that what what that one fight has 20 pages of notes. Yeah. Yeah. You like flowcharts? You like spreadsheets? This is the game for this you. This is the game for you. Note that in other games, it's uh, 20 pages of the entire game. If not less. Yep. Oh, hey, knock off Mystic. <laughs> hey, you be nice. This is Rui. Nice girl this game. Yeah, we're not going to. I mean, I guess I can. Mm. No, I'm just going to pull her. The usual suspect. <laughs> and because it's very common in most Pokemon games, uh, every, per every character that we can name is just going to be called A, because why not? It's faster. Yep. Either I just A or 1. That's like the most common name in on all Pokemon. Yep, I called her Rui for swag, though. It's cuter. Yeah. <laughs> the way this game writes characters, it, it writes them in batches. So it could write one character, Wait, or, or it's usually two characters to four yep. at a time. So Rui, like it, versus naming her A, doesn't always lose time. Yep. Yeah. Another just fun, silly fact about this game, I guess. <laughs> yeah. This game can be quite, quite silly sometimes, but uh, yeah, no. Yeah, I, I made a task of this game recently, and I yeah. learned way too much about this game. <laughs> it was a great task, though. It was a great task. It was task. a really yeah, good task. Yeah, check it out. It's on the Pokemon yeah. Community channel. Yeah, it's on the Pokemon Speedruns TV channel. I am totally not involved in that channel in any kind of way. Uh, Riku, you do know that Kingdom Hearts is in four hours, right? Oh, right, <laughs> right. I, for I forgot. I thought we were. I thought that was what we were running here. Yeah. This is, this is you I know, mean, we little could early. call this the Kingdom Hearts block. That would actually be accurate. <laughs> True. I mean, I was joking earlier with uh, Pharaoh because she was talking about like, oh, we got put in the horror game block. And I was like, oh, this game is, if you run this game enough, it feels like a horror game. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's the case of a lot of Pokemon games. They just show you things that you didn't know existed. Mm. True. <laughs> we learned a few things on the practice room just now. Oh, yeah, I saw. But uh, I hope they don't <laughs> show up on this room. <laughs> yeah, there were also things that came up uh, two days ago when we were doing practice that uh, I really hope I don't see, at least. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, that would, that would be unfortunate. Anyway, uh, this Maya, definitely not the bad guy in the in the end of the game. No, no, no. very inconspicuous. He just silly offered to help us. He's a silly yeah. goose. It's fine. So yeah, I'm gonna head up to the Colosseum here. I just got told to head up by the mayor, and they're actually just gonna tell me that they're currently closed and that I have to go somewhere else. So this is just walking for no reason. Yeah. So Rui mentioned that she can see these Pokemon that with this purple aura basically shadow Pokemon. So we went to the mayor, told him this happened, and then it was like, mayor was like, hey, go to the Coliseum. And then yep. all of a sudden, you know, we're, we're ambushed. Totally coincidence. 
Totally coincidence. Oh, and uh, then these guys are Team Snagum. Uh, they snag we Pokemon from people. Uh, that's what they do. And uh, apparently, we have just learned that West was an ex-member. So that is how he got into the base and was able to blow up the base that started the game. Uh, we will actually not be going back to that base in any percent. So if you want to go back to that, you can play All Sanks or you can play Hundo. But in this run, we will not be seeing that again. Uh, and it's a bit of a maze, so honestly, it's, it's fine that we don't go back there. <laughs> I never remember the layout. Yeah, no, it's uh, it's hard. I do Hundo, and I still don't know the layout. <laughs> honestly, same, same. I've, I've done XD Hundo, and I like, still don't. <laughs> it, it doesn't really make sense like when you look at the map layout of it. So yeah, just another fight here. Uh, I'll probably use Bite for this fight, because Zigzagoon could have been arranged, and I just didn't see it. Yeah, same deal with this fight. Confusion and taunt the other. Yep. So if you have a donation or a message, feel free to go ahead. Right on. We've got a $5 anonymous donation. It's a Stream 2's in desperate need of Plum. Uh, please add her to the Fumo crowd with ESH on. <laughs> but Plum's here. She, she's right here in the crowd. Take a look. <laughs> we, she doesn't need to be over on Stream 2. You're on Stream 1. This is the better stream right now. <laughs> I mean, I heard in stream two, uh, Link is just looking at a rupee, and I believe by the end of this, Link will still be, be looking, looking at, that. at the rupee. <laughs> yeah, it's about nine hours of staring at a blue rupee circling. So. I mean, uh, it I is content. I don't know, when you're putting it that way, maybe I should go to stream two. <laughs> oh, I have 74 special attack That's on this SPL. That's really good. Bad. Isn't it? No. Four? I did. 88. Hit, hit. Oh my god. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it's pretty good for a random SPL. I did okay. get negative special. That's right, okay. Okay, so let me explain a little bit about the Manip. So before I started the run, I was actually practicing it and I was failing it all the time. The way you see if you got Manip or not is because every single seed has a certain Espeon and a certain Umbreon, you can look at the combined HP value for both of them. So I was looking for an Umbreon with 87 HP and an Espeon with 70. With 70. Uh, and yeah, I got them. But there is a second check that you can do, which is if you got the correct Espeon, it will have 88 special attack on level up, and this one does, so I actually did hit Manip for the first time today, so... There we go. Yeah, we also start off with like $12,000, so it's, we have a good amount of money. We just buy all our X items that we'll need for the... We, uh, nope, that is false. We will be coming back here. If, yeah. if you're playing any percent with Quilava, you only come here once. But both of us will indeed be going back here, unfortunately. Unfortunately, yeah. we cannot buy all the X item at the same or at the same time. It's just too much money. So yeah, and uh, so you saw the guy I talked in it, Pokemon, Pokemon Sensor here, and he actually tells us where we can get Pokeballs, which is what we've been looking for. And he tells us that there might be some over here at the outskirts stand. There are actually two NPCs that let you trigger this right. There's right. one downstairs as well, uh, but the one upstairs is faster to talk to. Uh, but so yeah, no, we get going to get over here and. Uh, yeah, we're able to collect some Pokeballs from this guy. I will not be using these Pokeballs. They're completely useful, useless for me, but they are. I need them for story progression reasons. So that's the only reason I'm here. Whereas thus far, I will actually be needing these Pokeballs for... Uh, and she'll be using them in a very important glitch that's coming up later. You'll also see her buying a Great Ball uh, at this point, And uh, we will explain that when we get there. But pretty much, uh, it's, complete, uh, it's, it's completely useless for me because I will not be catching anything as that. So... I will just say it quickly, I'm running Umbreon, but technically I'm running the no snags category. Which is a main board category where you're not allowed to catch anything. So it would it would be fast to be able to catch uh, a certain Pokemon coming up later, but uh, we're not going to do that. So since that's against the rules of the category. I mean, technically we're not, we're not, we're not technically catching, we're technically stealing, but... Uh... True. And in, in this version of reality, uh, Wes has the uh, has a morality shift where he doesn't want to steal anymore. He just steals the machine because he doesn't want anyone else to steal anymore. Yep. Because stealing is cheating. Something, something. Something, so something, <laughs> something. Uh, Argic, I might need that script for me later. Oh, yeah. Hopefully, I'm just... Oh, honestly, I'm just hoping that uh, that's far as Croc is going to be runnable because like, then we would have a... like. Manip head and Runnable Croc at an event. That would be sick. And runnable Croc isn't even that rare, so... Yeah. No. Oh, you just hit it every time. <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, have you have you literally ever gotten an Unrunnable secondary? Twice? I, no, 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 no. It's, it's never happened, and it never will. Oh, I get it. <laughs> <laughs> never, never. Never heard of it. Kulava's cool, cool 100%. It's not 40. Twice. Mm-hmm. 
Russell just saw me or B. Probably the best trainer in this game. He's some guy. No, he's just some guy. Okay. okay. He's Wait, the best up. trainer in the game. What are you talking about? <laughs> We're not supposed to tell that yet. <laughs> <laughs> You're growing off script this far out. It's just, it's just weird that every time I see that guy, I kind of feel like I want to say the word Tulsa. Yeah. It's Tulsa. Weird. Yeah, it's, it, kind of, it's weird. Right? Yeah. I mean, it's a... Uh, Salsa's pretty good. I don't usually look at people and think salsa. Oh. I don't know what my attack is. I'm just going to confusion that. Yep. Ah, it's fine. You flinch anyway. Who cares? Yeah, true. Fast. Yeah, so this is a two-fight gauntlet. After this fight, we'll be seeing our first shadow Pokemon. But unlike XD, you don't actually have to catch it. It's not required. Yeah. In any percent, we do, though. Yeah. Because uh, it's fast. Yeah, so you can't actually run no snags in XD. Yeah, true. Imagine. No snag started just off. Just box the Teddy Ursa. Just <laughs> not the same. Not the same. <laughs> I mean, we can run minimum snags. <laughs> not the same. Not the same. Low percent. Low percent. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. It's literally a stream two reference. It's fine. <laughs> there is a low percent run done. Don't do it. I'm not gonna talk about it. Oh, we don't I, promote wait, healthy I, stuff. Wait, I know what you mean. I think I know <laughs> whose run you mean. <laughs> Oh, so No Snag started off as kind of a challenge run. Yeah. And then we ended up finding out Umbreon isn't bad. It's... <laughs> okay, Umbreon's not bad now, but as the run progresses, it kind of like goes down a curve like this, and then eventually near the end game, it just goes down. Right, right. Like, just down. Not, it doesn't go like slope down, it just goes straight down. Right, right. So there is... Oh, there's the first Shadow Pokemon here. Yep. Also, this Makuhita, if I was Manipt, it would be like an like, incredibly favorable range. But since I'm not, it's not. So it's still probably favorable, uh, even though my special attack was kind of mid. Yeah. Uh, hopefully, it has an Umbreon. But, okay, good. Well, one thing to know about a uh, Shadow Pokemon is that uh, most, in most trainers, every single Pokemon has like set stats. So we know the exact stats, we know every single thing about it, the abilities and everything. Shadow Pokemon, since they are treated as wild Pokemon, they have random stats, so they could have the, the worst stats imaginable, or they could have the best stats imaginable. And ideally, in most cases, we want them to have the worst stats imaginable, unless we're actually catching them, in which case we want the best stats ima right. imaginable. So Yeah, give or take. I mean, it depends. Uh, yeah, yeah. Generally, we want, want that to be the case, but there are certain like niche scenarios where it's just like, oh yeah, it's favorable to have this and this stat. The newest route at any percent would actually catch this Makuhita. Yep. Turns out, Makuhita fast. You should run Makuhita any percent. It's a cool route. I, it's it's not that cool. To clarify, you don't actually use the Makuhita. You do catch it. You, the team is Espion and another Pokemon that they're not going to use. Well, you use it. Yeah, catching <laughs> it is just faster because it, does, it has, happens on the first turn. And I believe it's guaranteed to catch because they want to be nice and free about it. Yeah, this one is guaranteed. You do use it, it's just not used to actually do much, but it's, I mean, there's a reason we catch it. Oh yeah, so when we leave this building, you're going to see uh, both of our runners go different ways. And that is the, actually the fact that we do actually have a choice on which trainer we fight. And depending on which trainer we fight, uh, you would do, you would have, well, they'll have a different shadow Pokemon. And the shadow Pokemon is... If you fight the red person, you have Shadow Poor Lava. If you fight the blue person, you'll find uh, Shadow Croconaw. And if you fight the green person, which uh, you only do in, I believe, Mirac in the Miracle Bee category, you'll find a Pokemon that no one will ever use in a speedrun and never will. <laughs> I don't know. Bayleaf. Bayleaf cooks. Let him cook. Yeah, I think there's still more Bayleaf active runners than Croconaw <laughs> runners, so that'll tell you that. Wait, really? Yeah. I'm not surprised. No That's one runs Croc. Ball. Don't eat my inputs. So, on Ava's screen, we fight. Silly. <laughs> we fight Quilava because it's kind of the easiest one to kill, um, and also doesn't hurt. Like Qu Croc, when it hits right now, hurts. Ah, oh, but we need him to mention about the glitch that we just did. So we have this Grit Ball. So we decided to throw it in, but uh, we also decided to switch the Pokeball and the Great Ball slot on the second Pokemon. There's actually a good reason for that. When we open up this menu. Again, you're going to see, wait, we have one Great Ball, but we still have the Great Ball. That is because there's actually an imp, a, imp, a, essentially an infinite ball glitch that we can do to essentially never run out of Pokeballs and catch everything. And we only use it with this just one Great Ball. Go on, Umbreon. But Good. 
but thank but we can actually use this if you run all all snags or some or 100 you can actually use this on the master ball now we're not actually going to be using grabbing the master ball because from what i've heard it's a three minute detour to grab yeah. or something along those lines but we can use it on the great ball and use its slightly better ca catch rate hopefully yeah bailey frow does actually get the master ball and you just catch all the shadow pokemon at the end yep. for, for bailey if it's worth it <laughs> ah it's not terrible did you get croc first ball no no, no. Yeah, I, I missed I missed an I missed an input, which was unfortunate, but it's whatever. Yeah, it's oh. about forty percent. So hopefully uh, this uh, crocodile stays in the ball uh, second time. What are the chances? With the confusion, it's like jumps to eighty plus three and right, crocodile has been caught. Nice. Please be runnable. <laughs> please, please be runnable. So I am looking for. At least 54 attack, 45 special attack, and 44 speed. If, if two out of the three are high enough, then I can run with the Croc. Fun fact, this Umbreon, I got I got a smoke screened on turn one on Umbreon. I has not hit a single move. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Let's hope that that's not luck for the rest of the entire run. It's, um, yeah, it's it would be unfortunate. Uh, yeah. Espeon actually... Espion killed every single Pokemon in that fight. I'm real zero damage. I mean, that's a prediction of what's going to happen yeah, for the rest of the <laughs> I think we're doing the math and for shadowing. One shots like ten things. Fifty-eight. Uh, it's yeah, kind of slow. Something like that. Kind of slow. I'm gonna Just try. Slow. I'm gonna regret it, but I'm gonna try. You're gonna try it? Okay, yes. okay. It's All happening. Right. I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited. I mean, like. It is Honestly? very slow, though. Yeah, I but. No, this is gonna bite me in the ass. But it's it's the opportunity, right? You, you got him a nip. I mean, I, I would probably run a 55 quill. <laughs> if I got, if yeah, I, I would too. If I got, if I, I got mean, I nip. would run 55 anyways. True, but you are, you are crazy. So. <laughs> yeah, so the biggest reset point is definitely uh, here where you catch your secondary where we caught Croc and you look at their stats and say, hey, can I use these stats to the end? Shout um, out to Juan. Shout out to Juan. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> what you're seeing on screen. Um, <laughs> is a Manip program made by Aldolaro. I've only added a couple of things, but Aldolaro did almost every, all, all the work. Um, you kind of revive these games too with Manip. Yeah, this town has a banger thing. Yeah, Pyrite, cool. Love Pyrite. Uh, don't love Kale as much, but it's fine. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Well, if you have a donation, uh, right now would be good before we get into Kale. Yeah. Right on. We've got $5 coming in from Halogen Lampert saying, shout outs to the airport gang. <laughs> Wishing you both uh, good luck and zero blown fuses. Airport gang. <laughs> Ooh, airport gang from last year. Time for one more? It's yeah. Fine. All right. We got $5 from Naomi138. Says, it really is the year of Pokemon Coliseum. So proud to see everyone come together to show off this awesome game. Good luck, Eva and Desfero, and GG on getting that Manip. Thank you. So Ava, since Ava didn't go for the Manip, um, Ava's putting in her memory card, and she's going to start with the backup save. This is also where we start race files. If we have a race, right here is just a good spot. Yep, very, very convenient. But the, since Desfero has got Manip, she's going to be ahead of me now, because I, I need to do this silly stuff. So what's the nature? Like? It's either quiet or docile, so they're both terrible natures. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> so nature actually matters a lot. Not just which stat gets a boost, but for purification. Ava won't have to worry about that, but yeah. <laughs> Das for sure will. <laughs> it's free real estate for me. No. But, uh, you know. Uh, I mean, like, honestly, like, quiet, docile. I prefer really not to speak. If I speak, I'm in big <laughs> trouble. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm going to be taking on Kale here as well. Um, hopefully, we both get these NRNG on Kale, because I sure don't want to die here and have to reset. That so, would be silly billy hours. So, Kale is, is the worst fight, for sure. This is just one of the funniest moments in this entire speedrun, because apparently, from what I've heard, this far, this far end of all things is a problem. Yep. Yes, it is level 33. With strength and it does stab. Umbreon or Espeon is uh, 26. Yep. Espeon is 26. Yeah. We're pretty low level. There's chances where if it has strong attack, it'll just one shot you and you can't do anything about it. Yep. Nice crit though. 
terrible roll. On the roll, roll it always dies. Mm -hmm. Yeah, basically this fight is for it. For it dies, it's a win. I need to heal. Ow. So if you ever want to run do a speed run where your run can die to a ferret, this is a perfect speed run for you. Oh, it'll it'll die to the ferret. God damn it! That's a shallow rush. It's pretty fast too. What a pain. I think yeah, we both we both didn't have an optimal start here. You want to see helping hand from this ferret as strength, quick attack, shadow rush, and helping hand, and you want to see just helping hand every turn, pretty much. Yeah, shadow rush That's and fine. strength both hurt a lot. Okay. So uh, Gucci. I mean, no, I'm not. Oh. Oh, it lived on one. It lived on one. Oh yeah, I. I had a... It hit itself in confusion, it's fine. Hopefully. <laughs> yeah, so you pay attention real closely to Das's screen. Under Croc, you'll see this purple bar. And you'll see a little bit of the bar is white. By the time we need to purify a Pokemon, which means turn it into a regular Pokemon, um, that bar needs to be yourself. empty. Uh, Aww. Uh, that's gonna hurt. Yeah, that's a one shot. Uh, I can win from here. It's just gonna be very slow. Yeah, I'm having quite terrible. I think this is gonna be a range, but probably not. Yeah, one HP. Yeah. Both. Oh my god, these furs do not want to go away. Come on. Uh, these furs are not nice. No, they're not. I do uh, need no. to keep this I'm guy alive just gonna if heal I'm here. gonna lose this experience. All right, please. please. Die. Okay, Thank, nice. you. Thank, Thank you, you for it. Yep. <laughs> Both fruits going down pretty much at the same time. <laughs> Not a good sign. <laughs> oh yeah, I can't attack C dot here as well, so I'm just gonna need to call because of bite. So. Yeah. Yeah. So Kale, as you can see, not fun. Uh, if you're going for like a top run, Espeon dying here is basically run over. Croconaw can die and be fine. Yeah. So Das will have to do some backup. To get was I the first person to call in this run? Because I think you are. Yeah, I was the first person to use call, which is fun. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like to explain calling? Yeah, yeah. So okay, usually, that's one. Um, you'll have four options, right? Fight, battle, um, the other one, items, and then call here. Call functions kind of like an awakening. If your Pokemon's asleep, you can call, and it'll just wake up. And it's also just another way to just not do anything. Yep. Uh, and it's one of the faster ways to not do anything. Uh, yeah. In XD, you can no. usually just refresh no, with Tadirsa uh, because it doesn't do anything. Yeah, it's docile. And with a Shadow Pokemon, um, as we'll see, Croc will, will want it to enter this mode called Hyper Mode, where its crit rate goes up. Like it's about 91% crit rate, helps kill a lot of things. Um, to get the, out of that mode, though, you do need a call. Yeah. Also, like. We could talk about the one in 256 at this point because it happened to Dosfara when we were doing practice. Uh, we'll talk about it when we get the hyper mode. <laughs> sure, sure. sure. I, mean, I already uh, got oh. the hyper mode yeah. and I already called out of it. Right. So uh, you can explain hyper mode then and then get to one two fifty six. <laughs> right. So there's other ways to get your Pokemon out of hyper mode. Um, you can use sense, which we won't see in any percent. We got hyper mode right there. Um, you could also get a 1 in 256 where you use Shadow Rush and your Pokemon decides, I don't want to be in Hyper Mode. I'm just going to get out. Don't know why. And it's very bad. Okay, I'm on really early XP for Croc, which kind of makes up for losing Espeon on the forehead. Not really, but... Yeah, I was going to say, uh, <laughs> you're still kind of... Uh... It'll it's fine. It's unfortunate. It's very, very, very. I would say it's like very unfortunate, but like save, salvageable. Yeah, this is fine. I'm more worried about that speed than I am worried about like. Uh, the, uh, I'm more worried about the speed than the missed experience here. I like the speed on Croc, but. Yeah. yeah. This is a docile. I wonder if you can do Carbo strats. Oh, it's time. Live routing. Oh, yeah, I guess I could do that. <laughs> I don't yeah. know if it'll help, but. <laughs> It won't help, but it actually helps mm -hmm. a lot. Yeah. So yeah, um, so TLDR, uh, the building we just walked into just triggers a cutscene. You're supposed to like get some gather clues in the town uh, to be able to find out where that like hidden passage behind the uh, bookcase was. But uh, we don't need that. We just go straight there, and it triggers a cutscene. And whereas some guy called Silva just scoots off because he is upset at Juking being passive when it comes to handling the influence of Shadow Pokemon in this town, and he just scoots off and he actually steals the gear that powers the uh, 
powers the windmill that gives the place or that gives Pirate Town electricity, uh, which means the Colosseum is currently shut off, which means we can't go into the Colosseum, which is what we want to do. So we might need to be able to retrieve this gear. And we're just going to head straight back and slot the gear back in. And th then it's going to be 30 long years of cranking gears. <laughs> 35 in XD. Yeah, true. That is like a fun continuity <laughs> that I really like. So basically, the NPC we talked to, the guy that was knocked out inside of the windmill. Uh, so when I give him back the gear here, he'll, he'll say that he's been cranking gears for 30 years. Uh, and in XD, he will actually say uh, 35 years of cranking gears instead of 30. Uh, which is just like a fun little continuity thing that's really really cute but yeah just flavor yeah pokemon xd being the sequel to this game um uh, they definitely toned down the difficulty on that game oh yeah for sure it was not like big level cover at the end of the game nah there is no it's not like everything's gonna jump like 20 levels or something <laughs> yeah no 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 i mean that is just bad game design they wouldn't do that right right surely surely <laughs> bye Rui. Oh yeah, 30 long years of cranking <laughs> gears. Woo! <laughs> so yeah, that's uh, the gear back, and now the Coliseum is powered up, and we can actually head in there to take on the Coliseum challenge, uh, which we am we're not sure exactly sure what's gonna net us yet, but we do think it's gonna net us a Shadow Pokemon, which is not why we're doing it, but it'll help us get intel on what's actually going on in this town because we're not actually 100% sure yet. So this is pretty much just us figuring out what the situation is and how bad it's got. So we're going to be heading into the Pyrite Coliseum right now. And this will be a gauntlet of four fights. And they will be slightly different for me and Faro. You'll see Faro trying to enter hyper mode a lot during this phase. Whereas I can kind of just like play through it normally. Uh, Umbreon's actually going to do like one thing in this place. So like get ready for him to cook. <laughs> um, but other than that, it's going to keep being like... A side character. So Hunter Hawks is the first one up, and like these strats are not very special, but you, since Umbreon is so um, inefficient at feigning other Pokemon, we're pretty much going to be using Espeon X special up for every single thing in this building, mm -hmm. and that is the trend that will continue. So you'll see me doing that immediately. So to quickly explain, X specials do as in, uh, they are X items essentially you use up one of your turns, but gives your Pokemon the, a boost. So in this case, X special gives a boost to special attack. However, normally in Gen three, you can't actually give your your partner Pokemon an I, the X special during your that partner's turn. So what we do is a little bit of a gl uh, glitch or like just, uh, well, a glitch where we <laughs> give a healing item because healing items we can give to our partner Pokemon if we want to, but it will have no effect, but it will still be targeted to that other Pokemon. And so we can still give an X special to the, our partner Pokemon. Giving an X special to Umbreon, kind of useless. Giving an X special to uh, Espeon, pretty useful considering the fact that it is our primary, for, our primary attacker for the entire game, no matter what category you run. Yep. Yeah, Umbreon will have its chances to cook. Maybe just two, I think. Uh, <laughs> in building or just forever? Forever. Forever. And I think I know the two. <laughs> Umbreon's mostly here for more support. Yeah, I mean, you're going to see Umbreon I'm, cook right now. Like, I mean, the same could be said about Croconaw. Yeah. What? Like, there's a saying, like, some of us like to go fast, some of us like to run Croc. Yeah, the fish is kind of slow. All right, is it really a fish? It is a fish. It's not. Oh my god. Don't start this. No, we're going to no, start it's, this. It's not a fish. If it swims, it's a fish. No, it's not. It's like my <laughs> logic of if it has wings, it's a bird. Exactly. That also, that's also correct. So that's why I say Venomoth is a bird. Yeah, Venomoth is a bird. You're so right. He's so I, right I am this. not going to get into this bird talk, I, but I will defend this fish thing. Nope. If it flies, it's a bird. If it swims, it's a fish. Very nope. easy. But, oh yeah, important question. I was talking with this about someone, I don't remember. Do you think coughing is a fish? No. no. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Oh, it's coughing a bird, though. Oh, true. You could argue that it flies. But I am not committed to this bird thing, but I will. I am committed to this fish. You're committed to the fish, I agree. I agree, Juan. Croc is a fish. It's not. You're holding it right now. Everyone can see it's a fish. It's not. Clearly a fish. All right, right audience. All right, we need to decide. Is Croc a fish or is Croc not a fish? I can't believe it. Look, I heard a lot of no's and then a person who said yes was wrong. I love them. I don't know who you are, but thank you for being here. All right, follow-up question. Is Venom off a bird? 
can't believe this. I can't believe these people. <laughs> yeah, but moths are birds. <laughs> so anyways, I, I hear maybe we have a donation. <laughs> Save us, please. <laughs> I can, I can feel no, my brain no. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. We've got $25 coming in from Engelschnacht184. They say, good luck to both runners. I heard someone say no snags. So when will, when will you be... Wow. When will be your 100% no snags run, Farah? Hashtag pet the night. <laughs> <laughs> pet the night. Is that really 100% if you can't actually get everything? It's a meme on my chat, don't worry about <laughs> it. <laughs> and we've also got $5 coming in from Patty2Plays. Uh, this one's for me. It says, Nordic, go to bed. You have a run at 10. Uh, yeah, I do, hey, but that's fine. Well, <laughs> you're here now. <laughs> what can we do? Honestly, uh, what a vibe. You can participate in our debate of whether or not Croc's a fish or not. Exactly. Th there's the no debate. <laughs> oh, the question is, does Croc have kills? I'm clearly debating it right now, so it's so it's real. <laughs> don't burn. Please don't burn. I keep getting ember burn in practice. So please don't. Ten percent. Yeah, it's only ten percent, but it happened like four hundred times. Yeah, on both the... Espeon and Umbreon have synchronize. Yep. So if they get a status effect on them, they're gonna transfer it over to the enemy Pokemon, and that is very slow. Yep. You wanna yeah. minimize animations. On the Meditide fight, I got paralyzed and burnt. <laughs> like, it's, Espeon got paralyzed and Umbreon got burnt. That's like... It's the worst. <laughs> it's only 7.5% to get paralyzed to begin with. Huh. And Namal using Ember is only a 50%. Because it either Embers or Digs. So it's like an incredibly low <laughs> chance for that to happen. So yeah, I'm on the final battle here, which is Miraz. So like, luckily there's um, there's a gold dean here, and in normal any percent, and for Burrow, I think I'm not sure. Uh, this is a the gold dean is gonna be a 50% range with yeah. a, it's at plus one like, special, but I just ignore it for turn one, and it's not even as scary for me uh, uh, as if we'd be in any percent because this gold dean does have surf, but, which would be really scary if I was running Kulava. But luckily I'm a luckily I have the silly little uh, black dog, or is it a fish? I think it's a cat. Okay, cat. That works. I can get behind that. Yes. There's no world. Is it a fish? We could argue it probably swims, right? Where's all the Umbreon stands in the chat? True. <laughs> yeah, we need I, people I don't think there's many, but... <laughs> eh, Umbreon's pretty popular. Is it? But yeah. I, yeah. I think one of the most expensive Pokemon trading card games, uh, trading card game cards, is an, like a full art Umbreon, like a moon Breon or something. Don't, don't oh, that don't, card is beautiful. Don't quote me on this, but it's like the max rarity of that card is like super expensive. I, I hear uh, second-hand source, uh, even though I do play the game. Entering the final fight, I would really like my Croc to be on hyper mode because there is a Magnemite on that fight that is actually very scary for me because it knows Thundershock and it really likes spamming it. It's probably not going to. At uh, the state, my, my purification bar is on. It's a 15% chance to enter hyper mode. So if it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen. We'll roll with it. It's fine. Yeah, we really want hyper mode. I said earlier, it'll increase crit rate to 91%. And that means that Volpix would have died. Yep. That's a whole, but two less animations. So it saves about 15, 20 seconds. It's pretty important. Don't paralyze me, please. Or, and don't crit me. Thank you. To those who don't know what critical hits, essentially they are just a random chance to happen. Most of the time, it's only in this game, I believe, six percent. Later gens, they remove, they reduced it down to four because yeah. it used to be one sixteen, and now it's one in twenty. Used, what now it's one twenty four, but in this game is one in sixteen. Right. But and what they do is they in this game it's double the damage, and it ignores any debuffs, any offensive debuffs, and of and any defensive buffs on the opponent's side. Yep. While taking to your, into account your own offensive buffs and the opponent's defensive debuffs. It's pretty strong, to say the least. I mean, there's a reason crits got nerfed in later generations. So, but yeah, I'm done with pirate building now. I'm gonna get the TM for toxic, woo, topical. And then I'm gonna head into the building and uh, gonna be taking on a nerf fight. Like this this game has a lot of battles because as you can see, it's, it's overworld movement it isn't exactly that impressive, but talking about how the AI works and like how every fight's been so carefully routed out by 
him a lot, but also other people. Bryce yeah. again, shout out. Zeke, shout out. Ruffligan, shout out. There's a lot of people to shout out here. Yeah, but... Xarian. I mean... <laughs> yeah, Xarian. Uh, I could go on, but... Yeah, thanks to... I've not contributed much to main routing itself. Uh, I contributed to one thing where about Altaria Toxic AI, and then I've done some smaller things, and I also uh, routed Makohira at some point. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, uh, so we'll, we'll talk about AI in a couple fights, but yeah. all the previous AI fights have just kind of been random. They just pick a move that they have, and they pick a random target. Yeah. Um, XD has a lot of that. This very quickly changes from that to some smarter AI. Yeah. XD basically has all of that. <laughs> it's not entirely random, but... I think in the task, this Sienma is actually the first enemy Pokemon that gets a move. It is quite fast. Yep. Luckily, does not speed, so hopefully, it doesn't have speed boost either, and hopefully, it doesn't supersonic me. Yes, this ma this fight should just be mash A and you win, but supersonic nice. and all's out the window. Also, like oh, there's my hyper mode. Oh, let's go. Also, like most fights in Scarlet and Scott and Vital, you pick one move and you win. Yeah, right on time. And I got double fi the two fifty percent. Let's go. Nice. Good stuff, good stuff. So yeah, I, I got pretty much like the optimal outcome for this fight. No speed boost Yanma, and I outsped normally, so that's pretty much optimal. Uh, can't really go better than that. So now this fight is going to be pretty much free, and in normal any percent, which Faro will be doing pretty soon, this fight is just match A. Yeah. And pray. Because, and pray. yeah. <laughs> it's not entirely straightforward. Oh, nice flinch. Yeah, this fight, this fight, this fight's been perfect for me. Uh, couldn't have gone any better, pretty much, except crit Yanma turn one. That's like the only thing that could have been marginally better, but other than that, I'm very, very satisfied with this fight. Yeah. This fight can be very slow, uh, depending on what happens. Especially normal any percent, where you can, if you don't have hyper mode, it's extremely slow, and yeah, there's a lot of variables factoring into it, but generally, it's pretty, pretty safe. Yeah, so Das won the Coliseum, and this person, Nor, escorts them into um, this building. If you usually, if you win, they'll give you a shadow Pokemon. Turns out, Wes is on a list. Yep. And he wasn't supposed to be let in, but he did. So. Woo. Okay. So someone in chat is asking, are we trying to get Embryon to fight Croconaut? No. We are just racing different starters and see what is the faster one, or in other words, who doesn't get. Um, the person who gets less screwed by RNG is with the, will be the winner in yeah. this race. Yeah, that checks out. I mean, like, there are. I mean, like, it's not entirely true. Like, but I think we'll get to showcase like a lot of the beautiful sides of this game, aka like all the silly Billy RNG. And hopefully, none of us make like a. Hopefully, none of none of us make like a big mistake or like an input gets input get eaten or something because that can happen. This game has a little bit of lag, and sometimes the menus can be quite clunky. I think. Right now, Croconaut is slightly favored to win. Yeah. Um, if in if they were both ideal, but honestly, it could go either way. Um, My Croc I, is I don't so know who's slow. Win. Yeah, you you might be unfavored just because your Croc, croc is like very very slow. It's not like incredibly slow, but it's like I wouldn't run it in a normal. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> two, two speed neutral. Two neutral is pretty bad. The rest of it is also pretty bad. <laughs> Bad nature. You're taking special attack or okay. That's uh, why I took it. Yeah. I mean, like, they are okay in the way that, like, I don't know, not <laughs> not dying on <laughs> Venus is okay, but if you lose 200 years, it's like, is it really okay? <laughs> yeah, uh, I think until 2018, 2017, Croconaw was actually, like, the main Pokemon people ran. And then Manip came along, and we were just like, well, let's try to give... Kolaba chance and turns out Kolaba was way faster. It's so much faster. Yeah. Although I did find two words that will scare any Colosseum runner. Oh? oh. Fire Blast. Yeah. <laughs> this is true. Looking for Fire Blast misses. <laughs> Ugh, I'm so glad. I'm so glad yeah. I don't so, have to Fire Blast. Well, we don't, ha we don't have to land 85% accurate moves today. Yeah. That's, but, that's nice. At least. I mean, I've already gotten all my messes out of the way with the smoke screen. Hey, nice crit. At the start of the yeah, I had a pretty good Nord too. Yeah, very nice. It's a good fight. So, since animations can't be turned off, Croconaw, I mean, has Surf. And you think, hey, Surf hits two Pokemon, good move. It also means it takes forever. And the reason I, I'm, uh, S, or, 
for Lava is faster, is it has Flame Wheel, which is one of the fastest move animations in the game. Um, and it has Fire Blast. Fire Blast, not as fast, but it kills everything. If it hits. If it doesn't <laughs> hit, it's fine. Usual. I mean, it always hits, right? Yeah. It never misses, right? Never. Mm -hmm. 85 never, never when you want it to. It's never, it's never missed in my life. It's fine. It, it missed about two to three times on average per run, right? Something like that? Ah, uh, no, 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 no. It, That's just a skill issue. Oh. <laughs> so this fight actually uh, on Ava's screen is the first fight with smart AI. So if they can't kill you, they'll use focus energy yep. to try to crit. In the beginning, oh. it's kind of random which fights have uh, smart AI, which ones don't. But this one does. So if, it, if you're in kill range, uh, they will go for it. But we're not, so it's fine. The fight I'm doing is interesting because there's a 1% chance that one of my pokes dies on this fight. But you need a lot of things to go wrong for okay. it to happen. Oh, are you talking about Taylor 15 and 16? Yes. And then into Endeavor? Although yeah. I am missing a level on Espeon, so Ooh. this might be worse. Okay, there we go. That Taylor right there, I didn't talk about it when I was on the fight, but that Taylor is a 15 and 16 range on every route. And uh, it has Endeavor, which is a move that, like, if you're 1 HP, well, that you're posting Pokemon to 1 HP as well, and then Hootoot will just finish you off if that happens, so. But this is not, this is random AI, so the Taylor needs to survive. It needs to do Endeavor. The Hootoot needs to survive, and it needs to attack the same poke. Yeah, that, it's it's very yeah, unlikely. That <laughs> never. It has already happened to me. It hasn't happened to me. I have lost to that fight. <laughs> I have. To quickly explain, uh, ranges is, is an, when Pokemon damage is being dealt, there's this like, huge big formula calculator that we most of the time don't really care too much about. There's only one part that can be a bit annoying for us, and that is the very end where it's like Rand 0.85 to 1, which essentially means that the damage of all of our moves can be from 85% to 100% of its maximum damage. And so when we talk about ranges, we talk about what are the 16, da what are X out of 16 damage rolls that would actually KO the, the Pokemon that we wanted to, to KO. So in this case, we talk about 15 and 16 on the Talo, 15 out of those 16 damage rolls will KO the Taylo, whereas one of them will not, and uh, it is essentially a 1 in 16 to get if we get unlucky. Yeah, speaking of this Remor, this Remor is 3 and 8 range. Uh, oh, so you get it? Well, yeah, I got it. Nice. So that's very, 3 and 8, very, very so nice. 6 in 16. Got a decline Swift here. Yeah, we don't need Swift. No. Shout out to Swift. Shout out to Swift, actually, though. Actually, sh speaking of people that have contributed, <laughs> <Yeah>. shout out <laughs> to Swift for sure. Miss Silly oh. Billy. It's fine, it's fine. So one downside actually with hyper mode is you can't use items on the Pokemon. Oh. Um, the only way to heal the Pokemon is actually through a heal machine. So we all want to keep hyper mode on Croc as long as possible. So you may see Dasfro purposely run all the way back down to the first floor just to heal. Um, while Ava can just use potions. Yep. Yeah, also, like Kulava, you oh, start with hyper mode oh, for a bit, oh, but then you kind of get out of it quickly. Yeah. And that's also where you save that's some That's not fair. Ooh. Are you being rolled? Yeah, it missed one, and it crit. Oh. So we'll... Be, yeah, I'll we'll, go back to the healing yeah, machine. We'll <laughs> yeah. At least it's pretty close. This is pretty unfortunate here when I'm watching, <laughs> trying to keep up with both, both streams at the same time, but yeah. So I just finished up this fight. Went pretty fine. Uh, I, I wasted an next special, but it doesn't really matter. We have excess. So this is Ackman coming up next. This is one of the least scary fights in building. Uh, yeah, we're push. back to random AI. Yeah, we're back to random AI. Uh, the, the only thing scary is that this croc. No, this croc. <laughs> this Voltorb here. Oh, lights. <laughs> uh, this croc here is a uh, croc. Why do I keep saying croc? This Voltorb. Silly, this Pokeball shaped thing. Uh, it's a 7 out of 8 range, and I'll be going for that first, so hopefully just get that. Yeah, Voltorb does the more, most damage, um, but ideally, if you get... Oh, wait, is it? No, it's, no not a, it's not a 7 on 8 on this. It's 7 on 8 on that. Ah, right. right, right, right. For me, it's guaranteed, because I level, level up before it. Usually, you kill the Electric first, level up, and then that guarantees the Voltorb. Yeah, but Voltorb does more damage, so... And there's no reason for me to take damage, like, ever, pretty much, except, like, you can go into firm, firm uh, damage and get some funny stuff. Oh, the but Remor is faster. Everything's gonna outspeed me. Yeah, everything's gonna outspeed you. 
And this is why taking a low speed, or one of the reasons why taking low speed is unfortunate, because like, just random things will outspeed you, and it's... It's just fine. It, yeah, yeah it, but it, it just means they it, their animations get played, which is... Uh, well, it's slow. It's slow, yeah. TLDR, slow. Slow Pokemon is slow. Who would have guessed? Woo! Shocker. Yeah, spe speed is very important. That's why you never see slacking get run in anything. <laughs> there is a slacking here. There is a slacking, yeah. Not later. It is very scary. I do need to yeah. heal after this fight, too. It depends what strategy you're running. I don't have to heal after it. Slacking's not that scary for me. Generally. Unless I have zero healing items and I'm going in on low HP or some shit. Yeah, a little spoiler, yeah. but the last fight in this game for Ava will be, I think, the hardest fight in any category of this game. Uh, to put it simply, it sucks. Yeah. It's it terrible. Uh, it's uh, it's like, so, like, if we're being honest about this route, like, this route up until the final fight, probably the easiest route to run in Pokemon Coliseum. And then you get to the final fight, and you regret all your decisions. Uh, all the time you spent getting there, only for your hopes and dreams to be destroyed by... Yeah. Well, <laughs> someone. Someone. Oh my god, I keep getting supersonic today. Oh. Uh. Uh, how are you doing on Full Restores? Uh, on Full Heals, you mean? Yeah. Uh, I'm fine. Oh. Okay. Full Restores this early in the game? Yeah, true. I can't uh, imagine. I'm gonna kill a little bit. There's one close in that some box, but yeah. Yeah. But why why would we why would I grab that? Yeah. A little slow. Yep. Oh, growl, I'm gonna need to bite now. Oh. No. Wait, is there any point to me? I guess flinch, yeah, sure. Yeah, I wanna see this how Das's XP is doing. Yeah. Since Das lost XP in the beginning. Oh okay. Okay, we got it. Nice. Things are gonna be a little weird for a while. Yeah, things might be really, really weird. But I'm not worried. Hopefully, I don't want to see Fury attack here. Anything except Fury attack is fine. Just don't flinch, preferably. Thank you. Oh, nice. Thank you. Probably very cool. You're getting really lucky with your flinches today. Yeah, I'm getting a decent amount of flinches. I was not getting. I'm working overtime. True. I was not getting lucky in practice with flinches earlier today. So, like, it's nice to see them for once, or for the first time today. They're finally showing up when it matters. Yep. Little thing about animations, you might have seen uh, either use uh, Return over Confusion. You, if you might be asking why, well, every move has its own animations, and Return is a fast animation, then Confusion. So when we can, if two, if the two rules are if one move KOs, the other one doesn't, use the move that KOs. But if both move KOs, use the one of the fast animation, so you save the most amount of time possible. Yeah. Pass uses Return a lot. I think it's the most used move. Here. Yep. That checks out. It's just very, very fast. <laughs> so my cursor should be on full heals here now. So I can just do that. Yeah, so since Umbreon can't really kill, it is very useful just to boost Espeon. Yep. Oh, that's a range. OK. Ooh. Oh. I forgot about that. Mm -hmm. So you're not 30. Hit. Nice. Nice. Let's go. Let's go. Good stuff. Bit slow because you have to see the animation. But, but. Yeah. OK, nice. Water, water gun's really good here. Uh, if I get frozen, I would have to use my last full heal, which would be very awkward, but one full heal should be fine. Yeah, this heal knows uh, is powder snow? Yeah, powder snow. Just You're freeze both your Pokemon. And icy wind that lowers speed as well, which is more relevant at any percent. Freeze fine. Damn, I didn't get the 43% rage on seal. seal. How could I? How could I miss that? Yeah, so for this race, um, I don't know if we talked about this, but Umbreon should be in the lead for the beginning. You'll see Croc really catch up, and then when we get to Mount Battle, Croc should just steam ahead. Yep. Um, then after Mount Battle, it kind of mellows out. Yeah, we trade. I, I don't know. I wouldn't say. I don't even know who to say is a little faster. Um, uh, Croc probably by a little bit, but the like the speed, uh, the speed variable here with this Croc being so uh, mid. Slow. Yeah. Um. So this is another smart AI fight. Yep. This is the dance fight. Oh, shout out to. Oh, hey, hey, hold, hold. All right, now we can say shout out to Oddish. Shout out to Radira, whose favorite Pokemon is Oddfish. Od Oddish. No, no, no. It's I mean like this we, this we actually established the last time we did a run that it's actually a fish. Oddish is a fish. It's a plant. This is established lore. It, it's a plant. Can have you looked at Oddish? I'm looking at it right now. It's it screams. It's a plant. 
it it's trying to tell you with its silly, cute eyes that it's Can we a get fish. a donation in so we can stop his argument? Yeah. Can we get one? Uh, sure. I've got one here for $35 coming in from Princess Neko Cakes. Uh, they say, I'm donating $35 for my favorite Pokemon with Pokedex number 35, Clefairy. Oh. What's everybody else's favorite Pokemon? True. Mine's Durant. Cinderquill. Mudsdale. Oh, oh, that's cool. Gallade. Oh, there's snow. Mine's like a tie between Durant and Magnemite. Please don't freeze me. I just cannot stop imagining just Gallade winning Mega Evolve, just having two dual discs next. That's just a thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's sick. All right, so we saw Powder Snow. Thank God we didn't get any. Hey, I even got this fuel range. Ooh, nice. Ooh. Cute. That's a terrible range. Yeah. Um, it's really, really nice when you can get up, like good ranges like that. I didn't get my skill range. I think my, my skill range is way more favorable than yours. <laughs> so, you know, getting scammed already. <laughs> the life of an Umbreon runner. Yep. Oh, if we have another donation, feel free. We do indeed. We've got $5 coming in from Furist. It says, this is THE Pokemon run to watch. Good luck to Eva and Despharrow. Hey, Furist. Mm. They got the and just as a reminder, when you put in those donations, make sure that you are putting that money towards one of our incentives. Uh, that prior one, that $35 one from Princess Neko Cakes, went towards our uh, Mega Mem 2 run, which is coming up a little bit later on today, for the bad grammar percent. Uh, you want to see that. You really, <laughs> really want to see that. We're at 105 out of the $1,000, and we need to make that happen. Uh, but make sure that when you go to donate uh, donations.esamarathon.com that you pick one of those incentives uh, when you put those donations in. So yeah, I'm about to start taking on a boss fight. I would guess uh, there's a, there are two fights in a row uh, and you cannot uh, heal or do anything between them. So I'm about to take that on right now. I'm actually fine on HP. Umbreon can be a little bit tagged up, and I made sure to heal Espeon in the battle because that is actually faster than healing outside of battle. Um, just saves animation time, saves menuing, saves lag, etc. It's just better. It's preferable. So I did that with a normal potion. Didn't even have to use a super. Like I've been pretty lucky at, uh, on this run through. Maybe not so much with some things, but Espeon taking no damage until that final fight right there. Pretty pretty fortunate. So. Yeah, I'm gonna be heading into this here. The fir this first one is pretty free, and the next one is very notorious, so we'll talk about that when I get here. And in the meantime, you can see this Faro taking on the fight I just took on. Yeah, this is... I'm gonna do exactly the same strat ever did, which is boosting SP on, killing the Cacnea first, because it's more annoying, and also it's a grass type, so it threatens my Croc, and then kill the Tentacle while I heal SP on, because I cannot heal Croc now, even if I wanted to. It's funny how water types don't like grass types. Whoa. <laughs> Shocker. Yeah. It's very interesting, because in Quilava, the, the Tentacruel is the, the main threat. Yeah, the Tentacruel is scary on Quilava, depending on your nature as well. Yeah. yeah. The Tentacruel can put a, a big hurt on Quilava. So, I, yeah, just gonna finish up this fight now. I'm just gonna bite and confusion this Love Disc, and it will go down, because it's Love Disc. Acid is slow, but at least it doesn't hurt. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Acid? Yeah, Acid's the worst thing you can get. It does no damage, but it's slow. Uh, yeah, at least it's a potion, right, for 20 <laughs> nice crit. damage flat. So yeah, this love is always abilities here. And since we kill it in one turn, that's not an issue, so it doesn't actually get to do anything. Yeah. And up next is Fawn's favorite fight in the game. So if you want to talk a little bit about this fight, you can. Uh, I guess I just mentioned for, uh, for Pokemon, if they can't kill you, they'll try to either use a status move or a move to boost themselves to either outspeed or be able to kill you. That's what we saw there. So now, we're, here's the first boss, Burma. Uh, for me, she's the true boss. How do you feel about Mantine? Are you a fan? Is it a bird or is it a fish? Bird. Fish. It's a bird. Okay. Both. <laughs> it's a fish. I mean, it does have a fish right underneath. It, yeah. It's a bush. But are you a fan? I mean, it, I mean, it, it's fine. It's okay. Oh, we can't be friends. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> this, this make or break with him. <laughs> this Mantine um, is bulky and has Bubble Beam. <laughs> we have we can't 
kill it, we have to set up to plus two or plus three, and we still have to two shot it. Um, I mean, I expect <laughs> it to be bulky. It's just the same. It has the same stat spread as Scum, right? Yeah. Um. Oh, Prince. Okay, we got it. If we get the Apom range, that helps. It's just letting it, letting the Mantine live, means we're just gonna get hit by Bubble Beam. Espeon gets targeted, and we just gotta hope we don't get crit. Oh no, another forward. Okay, not shift the AI either. Which is nice. Or, I guess, it's whatever. Just don't speed drop me and I'm good. We're cooking. So, this fight looks like it's gonna be about average uh, right now. I just set up the plus two, don't need anything more, and I'll just keep playing out this fight. And as long as I don't get really unlucky from this point on, this fight should be free, and you don't actually get to see how, how bad this fight can get, because this fight can get bad. Yeah, on Ava we saw Espeon, uh, we're gonna see Espeon hitting Mantine. Yep. But I think on Das is we're gonna see Croconaw hitting Mantine. Exactly. Yep. Cro Croconaw actually <laughs> does damage. Wow. Yeah, out of all the potential starters you can take on this run, Croconaw is the only one that can actually do something to the Mantine. So, the fight is a lot more manageable on Croc. On the other hand, the Mantine always targets Espeon if it's partnered with a water type. So, if you ever get crit, you're probably just dead. Yep. I mean, if most of the time you get crit by anything, you're mostly just dead anyway. This one is infamous for always critting on the wrong places, and I did get unlucky on Kale, which almost never happens to me, so I'll probably be unlucky on this fight too. Just don't crit me here. And we are probably cooking. Okay. Don't speed drop. Nice. I'll see how much this bite does. Again, if you guys want to run okay, that has both a ferret and a Mantine run killer, Colosseum is your game. Hopefully this is fine. Because if it's not, it's over. It's fine. It's not over, but like it would be kind of weird. Yeah, this fight sucks to lose. Yeah, it's very, very bad. I, it, at, the, at that point where I was there, it would have been recoverable. But uh, a lot of the time, dying early on this fight is just not recoverable. And 99% of the time, even if it's recoverable, it it's not really worth it. It wasn't even a crit. It. Okay. Oh, it no, it's fine. It still kills. Yeah. yeah this man time, we actually catch in TAS. It is... So bulky that we need to catch it. Yep. So yeah, I'm going to talk to Sylvie here. And we're actually going to learn that uh, the band guys, they've taken uh, <coughs> Duking's uh, Plusle as a hostage. And that they're using that to basically try to blackmail us. And we're going to go after Mirror B uh, because he's got the Plusle. That's pretty much what he's calling or what he's telling us uh, while calling us pretties. So uh, just going to start the next fight here. Again, like pretty much like... This is a very fight-intensive segment. There's just a bunch, a bunch of fights right after each other. Not really much story oh, progression. Wow. Oh, look, fish. It's a bird, though. No, fish. So, uh, but yeah, this fight can be really trolly, so, but hopefully it isn't. Um, I'm going to be x specialing here and trying to, or this Quillfish always dies, but this Goldina Supersonic, and I've gotten hit by two Supersonics, so three uh, this, this run. So let's hopefully not get hit by a fourth one. That would be very silly. So Dess's fight is looking pretty good. No, um, it is. This should yeah. kill even without a crit? Yeah. Yeah. Nice. No, Mantine anyway, had a like... really low defense. Yeah. I did like 75% with a single crit shadow rush. Oh, wow. It's very rare. Yeah, that's really, really good. <laughs> don't don't supersonic me. Might support. Oh, Miss. Nice. Oh, nice. Hey, nice. Yeah, this is a free turn. This ferret, whenever it's paired with this Yanma, it always uses Helping Hand, and then the Yanma does, uh, does Sonic Boom. So the Helping Hand is completely useless, because Sonic Boom always deals 20 damage. And both my Pokémon are over 20 HP, so I'm very safe. Yep, smart AI. Smart AI indeed. Except when it's dumb. I mean, smart smart AI is generally good a good thing for us. It makes the game way more predictable. So. Right. I mean, it also means we have to adapt, and you have kind of have to figure out, you know, what's going to happen. There's always the good thing about this game. There's always a right choice. Yeah, which is cool, but it's not as cool when you have to adapt and you're like struggling to adapt to it. Right. You got to make the right choice yeah. quickly, or <laughs> you're going to lose time. Yep. Especially the further we get into the game. Uh, and yeah. yeah. But I mean, since 
Uh, we did manip, but we don't manip the same Espeon. We get random stats. The only requirement um, is pretty good speed, and we want perfect special attack. So that means our defenses can be random, and then our secondary Croc stats are random, Umbreon stats are random. And so depending on their defenses, other Pokemon can target different like Pokemon other than like... Um, usually they'll target Espeon, because Espeon's uh, more frail than Umbreon. But in some cases, it'll switch, and you got to be ready for that. Yep. Uh, which doesn't happen. It, we've calced my stats, and it doesn't happen on... I don't get any weird AI shifts uh, on this. Uh, she might, though. Uh, I don't think so. Not with the stats I have. Okay. But we'll see. Yep. Yeah, your Espeon stats are pretty good, at least. Yeah. Oh yeah, here's everyone's favorite Metatite. Uh, I'm just gonna, is just gonna get one shot here, and hopefully nothing weird weird will happen. Yeah, we'll talk about Metatite again when Das gets there. Metatite's important. Just that's all we'll say. Very important, yeah. but not for me. Oh, that doesn't matter. Literally, doesn't matter. <laughs> this is super favorable to hit KO. So if I wasn't getting, if I didn't get that, I would just, that would have felt pretty bad. But I did get it, so we're cooking. Oh yeah, this Bacon has a 7.5% chance to uh, paralyze you because it has Dragon Breath. And please don't burn me. If your Umbreon's strong enough, it actually has a chance to kill this Bacon. Uh, no. bite. I don't know if you're going to go for it. That's not good. Ooh, Supersonic. Just hit through. No. No, 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 this is Coliseum. That doesn't happen. We don't do that here. We're going to use full heals for that intended effect instead. I mixed, <laughs> I mixed up my targeting here, but it's fine. Whatever. It has a chance to kill. I told, I told you. Easy. I mean, it's actually just free real estate. I, th I think it's about 33% with your stats. So. Yeah, yeah, something like that. Take down. So that's uh, pretty cool. <laughs> you usually don't see Umbreon yeah. one-shot that. So it was useful. Good job. True. I actually showed something cool off. So just going to finish this off for a turn. So he has hey. about one fight. Hey, hey. Nice crit. Oh. That one's very good. Wait, you got a crit? Oh, you one-shot the Lineoon? Lineoon, yes. Nice. Yeah, that Lineoon is... Uh, that Lineoon has sand attack and it has headbutt. So feel free to imagine. Very annoying. Very, very annoying. So there's a couple items here in the cave. Um, some important ones. There's some ethers and there's some hyper potions. You only really get the hyper potions if you're playing safe. Uh, for a marathon, you probably want to get them. The ethers. Huh. Sometimes you might not get them. Does this croc route get them? The croc route gets them. If it didn't. I don't. I don't. Yeah. Yeah. This route doesn't get the ethers. It's like completely useless. It would be selling them for money, pretty much. Yeah, the croc route recently uh, had small reroutes. Or pretty big, I'd say. Pretty big yeah. reroute. I mean, Umbreon's like reroute isn't that old. Yeah. Either. Like, there's been a lot of changes in these games kind of lately, and XD is about to have a big change, I believe. Yeah, I, see, I'm trying to think when I routed it. It must have been like 2019 when I, or 2018 when I routed uh, No Snags. Oh. So it started from there, and then some contributions from Rise Again. I think the most recent route is 2022. Yeah. Yeah. So. We talked about uh, Metatite, and it's holding an item called the Twisted Spoon. And what that does is boost uh, move, psychic moves. Psychic by moves by 20%. 20%. 20%, yeah. Oh, in this game, I think it's 10%. Mm. Wait, what are we talking about? Uh, Twisted Spoon. Twisted Spoon. Yeah. Is that 20% or 10%? 10%, right? In this game, it's 10%. Oh, okay. Yeah. Maybe I must have buffed it later then. Yeah. Uh, so. yeah. Nerf crits buffed Spoon. So we catch Metatite here. Get the spoon and give it to Espeon. Catch um, the Metatite if he cooperates. <laughs> if Important. Cooperates. Yes. It can troll. Um, your run is oh, nice. basically over if you miss it. Um, if you're really good with no snags, you know how to work without the spoon um, since you don't have it. I think I'm the only one who's done a run when Metatite dies and I finished. Yeah. Um, Did you literally do that ow? for PSR Marathon? It was a race. I don't know if it was for the PSR Marathon. I'm pretty sure it was the four-way race in PSR Marathon. You were there, me, Zeke, Rise again. That was definitely... I was there. I don't think that was the run. 
I think it was an I swear off line. We did a lot. Of, we do a lot of races. Oak, I think you. No, I swear that was a run. It might it might not have been, but oh. I was I was also there. So like, there's there's not that many possibilities. No, I was Bailey. That I had the two oh. one and two fifty six. Yeah, that's true. what we had. It just checked it as ten percent. They actually buffed it in Gen four. Gen four. So they buffed it pretty quick. Oh. I mean, it's a big help. Uh, Psychic, we'll get later, is 90 base power, so it becomes 99. Yep. There's a lot of things that are just barely not guaranteed that you may see Ava miss. Um, <laughs> you'll see it in, like, what, the next fight, maybe. Uh, uh, no, it's going to be 100. Maybe, I'm gonna, it's yeah. going to be 100. percent I'm not going for the silly range and then getting a leap seed. Yeah. It's not happening. Not in this house. I will, however, just get this you one shot of Swablu. You can escape from that. Okay. Yes, I think it has to be closer to the, the red yeah. symbol. I'm not returning yeah. again. Oh yeah, you can easily escape from that, I think. Yeah, it's a little risky to return. This uh, is another uh, big ball. RNG point. Yep. Where if you get it first ball, it's great. It's actually faster to catch it. Yeah. Um, I do not have to deal with that. No. <sighs> well, you can't. Yeah, I'm not allowed. I mean, remember Wes's morality. He thinks stealing is bad and cheating. We cite the script from Bowie and Og. True, true. Okay. There, we go. there we go. Hopefully this Swablu doesn't have like max defense and somehow survives this return I'm about to use. Actually, I'm yeah, just, not, you can I'm see, just not gonna go for return. Because Eva doesn't have to worry about shadows at all. She's just slowly gaining time on me. This is expected just because I have to deal with shadows and she doesn't. Yep. Yeah, we should start seeing that. Uh, should start seeing Das gain time now. Yep, this is about the time where Umbreon starts. Well, it's oh, it's been bad the entire time, but it starts getting real bad. It starts falling off. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Big time. It's in a... S <laughs> yeah, you could say. You could say it falls off big time. Yeah, we tried to make Umbreon useful. Like, we it used to learn Hyper Beam. It would kill, like, three things. <laughs> wow, that base 65 attack? <laughs> yeah. Whoa. It has the same attack as Espeon. Even Espeon's attack is more useful than <laughs> Umbreon's. We tried routing back black glasses on Umbreon and didn't change anything. It couldn't kill anything. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's almost as if Bite is just a weak move. Yeah, Bite's <laughs> strong though. I think it's Umbreon actually. Bite is really good in XD. Yeah. You, you in XD, uh, Bite is your f one of your first attacking moves. You keep it the entire game and you use it in a final fight. Yeah. That's how strong it is. I think it's also like uh, the fastest animation-wise. Yeah. yeah, it's the fastest animation as well. Because Psychic is slow on that game. Uh, I don't. Psychic is slow at any game that has animation. In this yeah. game, it's not slow. Please don't sleep, yeah, like Yeah, okay, Confusion is the really slow one. Oh, oh. Uh, it's yeah, this, fine. This I fight can awaken it. It's a little scary with uh, Dunce Sparse. That's another one of those shadows that can hurt. Yeah, that does sparse. That's a surprising amount of damage, considering it's a done sparse. Yeah. Beyond again. Uh, it's fine. Want to heal okay, here. That's fine. No, Umbreon's probably fine. It's it's like slightly low. Kind of just Ooh, want to play safe. That was a crit. So bulky. It's bulky. Yeah, so here we might actually see a call. No. No. Just do this spell. Bad. Anyone like Ludicolos here? So yeah. Anyone like dancing Ludicolos here? Here's the guy. <laughs> the Salsa Man. There we go. Yeah, Mirror B is uh, basically our king. <laughs> He's the most iconic character from these games. Uh, he is the profile picture of our Discord server, and we also have like 200 fucking... Oops. 200,000 emote slots dedicated to him. Yeah. yeah if you want a 5x5 five five emote of Mirror B and his afro, go ahead and join the server. Yep. 25 emotes dedicated to one man. No 31 lead, no 31 lead, no 31 lead. 29, no 31. Oh, 31 lead. I'm, I'm actually crying. 29 I'm, is so bad as well because this is astonishing. I have told people this, that anytime you say something out loud and like kind of projected, it will happen. So you don't say it until it, so you don't think about it until it actually happens. That's that's the strategy. It not, doesn't happen until you think about it. And then it happens. So this fight, um, it doesn't quite have smart AI, but it's got somewhere in between. These loot colos are programmed to use Rain Dance turn one. There is no avoiding it. Tas can. Um, barely. Um, 
So we have to let him rain. Ooh, are we going to go for the range? Hmm? Are we going for the range or are you nope. just going for I'm just not going to get flinched here. Please. Oh. I'll hold my nation. Ooh, okay. We're getting leech seed. I'm crying. So, team the 31 is bad because we don't have the spoon. If with the spoon at plus three, it is a 15 and 16. Without the spoon, it is Ow. three and 16. Somewhere around there. So we have Leech Seed, and we're going to see it for a while. Yep. I think until there's no Pokemon in that slot. Yes. Assuming that's the same as uh, Gen 4 and above Leech Seed. So. Okay. But the reason why... The one thing to mention about this is I think this is the first case of something known as random leaves, right? Yep. Uh, yeah. No, but you're right. It is, that is something we need to bring up. <laughs> yeah, so in, this so in this game, certain trainers will not necessarily lead the same Pokemon, which is actually something that's very unique to only this game, because every, every other trainer will always lead the same Pokemon in the same order, and depending on the uh, Switch AI of the game, it will always bring out the next Pokemon in the exact same in the exact same order. Every game has slightly different Switch AI, but in this game, the leads can be, depending on the trainers, random. It can lead any one of its four. Uh, I believe Mirabi has four Pokemon in this fight. Five. Five. Four Ludicolos and a Shadow Pokemon. So in this case, the Shadow Pokemon will always be the last Pokemon, but one of its four loaded. But two of its four little colors will be first, and we do not want to see at least in this case the 31 because it probably has like a, a bad move set that we don't want to see. Yeah, yeah. you, you kind of want an extra turn to set up, Thanks. so you would want to see something you can actually kill, like the 28 or 29 at the start. There is a, a, a strat. I think the first strat that I made for this is turn one you actually hit, you hit the Ludicolo and then you hit it again. Um, turn two versus this one we just set up turn one. Yeah, this is just safer and better, but just like, when you get astonished, it's like, cringe core. I was worried because my Espen is missing a ton of XP and you do need to be level 33 for the level 31 Ludicolo, but we did reach it, so we are good. I am going to go back to heal though, because these Ludicolos hurt, and my Croc is at 25 HP, and I really don't want him to die, because I still need Hyper Mode after the cave. Yep. Yeah, hyper mode. Again, we can't use healing items. The only way to heal with hyper mode is by the heal machine or the PC. I'm not. You can also heal on the PC. Okay. But I wasn't the sure PC if you would lost hyper, me hyper mode. Oh, I thought I was on taunt, but I'm on snatch. I'm gonna get an extra turn of rain. Whatever. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, it doesn't it doesn't make a big deal. Just slow. Yeah. So I mean. It, if they don't see rain up, they're gonna use it. Yep, you're gonna see Dos catching up on me on this fight because, right, the leech seed loses like two minutes. Or yeah, something. Well, again, depends on the lead. Yeah. Depends on the lead. Depends if I get the range. The task... I might lose the range. Yeah, true. Right. I'm assuming it's 28, 29, 30, 31. That's the levels. Yes. Yep. Yeah, the 28 and the 29 are the fast ones. 30 and 31 are the slow ones. Yep. They have swift swim versus. What's the other? Uh, rain dish. Rain dish. Rain, rain dish. dish. You outspeed. Wait, oh, rain you outspeed all of them, without rain though. And thirty-one Espeon outspeeds twenty-seven in the rain. Like thirty-one IV speed, right? Yeah. Yeah. Which I'm not. So. Twenty-eight, twenty-nine. Not that it mattered, but. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If if you're running Quill here, Quill. I'm just gonna pick up. In Blaze, items. can barely kill. Um, I think both the 28 and the 29 what? is like a, with in, a crit. In rain? No, no, you, you gotta kill oh, before the rain. Oh, yeah. With uh, Flame Wheel. Is Quillop even fast enough? Oh, actually, it should be because Ludicolo yeah, is Yeah, Quillop is faster than Krog. No, I think Quillop is faster than Ludicolo. The, the 31 Ludicolo, though, the only way for it to die in Tass is you have to Confusion crit it, it has to get confused, and it's gotta hit itself. That, that's asking for a lot. Yeah, and, and Flame Wheel has to crit and hit the range all on the same frame of RNG. It's it, also asking a lot to kill. Yeah, it took me about a week to find a frame that worked. <laughs> oh my god. The fight is bad. I think Shocker. I checked like 4,000 frames. It's, it was, it's okay. basically shiny, shiny odds. Yep. 
Well, we actually can you talk when you talk about this. We are actually gonna so That's also okay. Even not actually locked to only using two Pokemon for the the entire run. We do have this puzzle. And later on, this puzzle is going to try and do its best Pachirisu impression by redirecting attacks to it. <laughs> this puzzle is actually better than Umbreon. Yeah. yeah uh, that puzzle... is actually not a lie. <laughs> yeah. Puzzle we call the true hero of this run. And in the second half of this run, you will see more puzzle than you will see Umbreon. Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah. The puzzle absolutely does more to make this route bearable than Umbreon does. Butter gun's good. Yeah, this fight with Quilava is a lot of digging. You're kind of just dodging it can't do a lot of damage with the rain up so we just kind of want to dodge dodge and weave that's yeah the <laughs> basically cool. yep yeah. but they also have razor leaf which is the main scare for crocona and i don't remember if they have ice beam for bay leaf it's been uh, a while uh, I, mean, what has ice beam? I don't know what? uh ludicolos uh, do any of them have ice beam oh no i'm thinking the later ones no they don't Oh. It's like dive. Oh, it's the Golduck? Yeah, the Golduck is Golduck good. has Golduck. Ice Beam. Yep. I might have to deal with that. Shocker, or spoilers, there'll be a Golduck later. Wow, no way. It's. Okay, I'm just gonna do something here. Well, not, not yet, but soon. Yeah, I have a very clean Miri B. Nice. Yeah, yeah you, so you saved like probably two minutes or close to two minutes on me there. Because I had 400 animations to watch. <laughs> <laughs> and it's not going to get better for me. Man, only if this game had like a real, a pink bird that you could catch. And then maybe just feed it a bunch of experience candies and just become <laughs> level 78 very fast. <laughs> well, I wish. Yeah, we don't have those tricks on Gen 3. Yeah. No birds. Only fish. Only fish. Uh, speak, uh, speaking of, of something important, uh, as we get stuck up there, that's pretty funny. Uh, we have... Uh, so Espeon can't use the Twisted Spoon because uh, it's stuck on Metatite. So, but Espeon is going to be uh, essentially uh, doing a little bit of its own stealing. And it's going to be stealing the experience of Umbreon thanks to the experience share. So experience in this game, it's given half... In double fights, it's given half to Espeon and half to Umbreon. There's also like a thing about experience curves, which, believe me, I can do a whole tangent about that because we had this whole discussion about and Violet because of mains and experience. But essentially, but, but in this case, Espeon and Umbreon both have, I believe, the same experience curve, so that shouldn't matter too much. And so now with the experience share, it's an item that takes EXP and gives it to another, to another, to another Pokemon. Normally, in a single scenario, a single battle scenario, when you grind it. It takes 50% of the experience from the main Pokemon gives us the Pokemon with the experience share. But if the per Pokemon with the experience share is in battle, as well as the Pokemon, well, as well as another Pokemon that you used, that Pokemon take actually keeps 75% of the experience, and not and the Pokemon, the other Pokemon is taking 25. So yeah. Umbreon for the rest of this game, and also plus if it's for some reason on the party, it's still and getting experience, will only get 25% of the experience, whereas Espeon will be getting. 75% of the experience, which does actually make Espeon in at least the no-snags route higher level to compensate for that 10% drop of uh, that we don't get with Twisted Spoon. Yeah, yep, that's exactly right. Very and, useful. Yeah, and so by the end, I think we the stats balance out. We're, you're still under level though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you are under level. We're still under level for the final fight, even even with all the shenanigans that we pull off. We're still under level. We, we could give Umbreon more XP. Changes nothing. It, doesn't no. kill anything extra. <laughs> <sighs> Why? Oh, but Umbreon's gonna cook in the next fight. On which fight? Oh yeah, and on, on Cass? Yeah, yeah. Umbreon's gonna cook Cass. <laughs> I guess before that, if you have a donation, feel free. We do indeed. We've got $25 coming in from Abyss. They say, waking up early to watch one of my favorite games of all time. Good luck to both runners. Also, Salsa! <laughs> salsa! Salsa! 31% range here on Cacnea. Oh, oh, never mind. Just, take, a, just get the crit. It's a 100% range. You get it every time. Yeah. You know, in any percent, I have never... Okay, I have about, like, aggregate. Uh, quick maths. I have about, like, 2,700 attempts in any percent. Something like that. I have never crit this roomish ever. Oh. So, uh, not that I get to do it in this round, because... In any percent, you take out the Cacnea first, and then you hit into the roomish, and one shot critting it can 
Blade to a one-shot, which saves a turn. But never had that happen. Very, very sad. And then I saw Jordan get it like two runs in a row, and I was like, <laughs> I wish that was me. <laughs> yeah, so I guess we haven't said what, why we're even here in this place. Um, yeah. After we got Plusle, we, we saved it. Plusle wanted to join us. We went out, and it turns out Rui was heading here anyways um, before she got kidnapped. So we come here, talk about Shadow Pokemon, and then conveniently, the enemy's also here. Yep. Whoa, this talk. is, uh, I think, the village of Celebi, and Celebi's been known to purify Pokemon, so they want to get that in lock. Convenient plot device that Celebi can purify Pokemon. It's never been mentioned anything until this game. So hopefully we can get a crit here on this full play. It doesn't really change that. Oh. Lived on one? That is... Uh, yeah, yeah, lived on one. I have bad attack. It's fine. It, this Boltoy will flinch and make up for it. And oh, I'm, you don't go for see? the plus one strike. It's for real, is it? No. Oh, nice. It is a strike here where you actually use the X item on Umbreon. Yeah. So it'll one-shot the Baltoy, one-shot the Colia, and then you just hit the Ralts. This, this strat is faster if everything works out. I'm pretty sure. I don't think so. Isn't by a special move? Are you game? sure it's not faster? Yes. Okay. You want to talk about that? I swear that's one of the things oh, I yeah. looked into. So... Oh, no way. What's my range on that Carvana? Oh, yeah. Ooh. I didn't kill that either. 88%. <laughs> you did lose some happiness when Well, his full shadowing of a move. Oh, yeah. I guess that would explain Yeah, re Return's it. base power is based off of uh, Espeon's happiness. It does max out quickly, but... Espeon did die, sometimes with RNG. Espeon doesn't get happiness on the walk cycles. Uh, fun stuff. Yeah. But uh, yeah, speaking of other fun stuff, uh, one thing we didn't mention about in this game is that because it's Gen 3 and not Gen 4 or later, uh, moves, there is no physical or special split in this move. So Umbreon using Bite is actually not using its physical attack, but rather its special attack. Instead, because moves are based on type. Oh, I was missing a level. That's why the I didn't get it. The easiest way to fit, to remember this is all the evolution types are actually special plus dragon. And then everything else is uh, physical. Yeah. We'll get the picture when Das gets to... <gasps> this is the fight. When Das gets to this. Yes. Yep. So here is the first single battle fight. And the only single battle fight. And we don't participate in that. No, yeah. we, we do not fight in this, but instead we're going to have this this person who thinks he is the protagonist because he has a Pikachu. And uh, there are things that, 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 that happen. In later games, they say oh, we'll have this as a scripted fight, but in this game, they try to kind of make it very unfavored for the Pikachu to lose. However, there is actually a chance that this Pikachu can actually win the win this fight, and it's okay. very slow if it does, but it is extremely funny if it does. And they, I would say, if a Pikachu, never mind, you yeah. actually get the optimal, the optimal fight. It's so. This is so sad. It's so sad. We we want Pikachu to win. No, not optimal. I got paralyzed. <laughs> <laughs> so like, a Pikachu can win this, but they basically wanted to make it script the cutscene, so they even gave Hitmon a bright powder for this cutscene, so like, yeah. Pikachu, Pikachu can miss Quick Attack, which hmm. just like... I was just gonna say, if Pikachu win, if Pikachu wins the fight, they have a declared winner. Like, that's it. Like, it doesn't matter what the race <laughs> happens, they're just a declared winner, so... Mm -hmm. oh, if you want your so free good. win condition, make sure Pikachu actually wins the fight. Yeah, it is pretty rare. I've... I haven't had Pikachu win for me. I've had Pikachu actually er, tie the fight. Or they both die at the same time. The game treats it as a loss. <laughs> On the, uh, no, it doesn't matter if Pikachu wins. The game treats it as a loss. Yes. Because uh, it's meant to always lose, but they couldn't be bothered to actually script the fight. Instead, they just hope that the fight actually just happens. Actually, it's just also a thing in Gen 3 where, arguably speaking, in the Wally tutorial, Volts can die in the tutorial, and it actually is optimal if it does. <laughs> It's only starting from Gen 4 onwards that they start actually scripting the actual fight so that nothing wrong can actually happen. Yep. So this Clan Pearl is completely unscary in this, but if you're running Kulava, this thing waterfalls and just one-shots Quill. Yeah, it's a scary fight. So the Geodude has Dig, this has Waterfall, both of those do a lot of damage to Kulava. Umbreon, nothing does a lot of damage to Umbreon. Yep. Umbreon is a tank until its tankiness is, me is meaningless. Yeah. Pretty much. 
Ugh, I'm, I'm, I was like, I was feeling it that I was just gonna miss that range for no reason, but it didn't happen, so. Because that hit up is a range at plus two. So. Here's the waterfall. You're gonna see it's not gonna be doing much, but if it, that was a quill, that would be doing a lot. It'll, so. it'll be like. <laughs> yeah. That's a cool impression. <laughs> Very good. Applause, honestly, for that. That incredible impression. So, Crisis, he'll be able to tell me. Um, here we're gonna use Bite, and why not we'll use Mirror Coat? Yep. But it doesn't affect Umbreon, because it's Dark type. Is that the same in every game? Uh, no, I think that's been changed. I don't wait. know which generation would be changed, but. You're not supposed to have a turn. That's fine. Actually, wait. It, it never comes up in any of us speedruns, so I actually don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it really does. <laughs> like, Counter comes up, not Miracle. It's essentially the same thing. But I, I do Counter, does Counter hit Ghost? I actually don't know. No. If, yeah, so I, the Miracles will actually be completely useless on, um, on Umbreon because it's Psychic. At least, I mean, it could be worse. At least uh, in this generation, it doesn't have synchronize, the move Synchronize yet. Right, right. That move on Umbreon is 100% useless. <laughs> yep. For those who are unaware, Synchronize is a move, is a psychic type 120 base power move that you can only use if the opponent is the same type. Now, just think about this for a second. It is a psychic type move given to a dark type that can only be used if the, op if the opponent's type is the same type as it. <sighs> And we all know that psychic type, that dark, psychic moves do not work on dark type. So why does it have synchronize? One day it's gonna save an animation. Know, it checks out to me. Also, Pikachu, let's go. Come on, win. I'd love to see it in a marathon. You have. <laughs> all right, Pikachu, be the main character that you're supposed to be. It does a little bit of damage, but if it crits, so all that's important here is to not die in static. That is step one. Shadow Rush. It's alive. 50 50. Static is 30. I threw. Oh, unfortunate. <laughs> so sad. Yeah. So yeah, uh, I'm gonna get the small tablet right now. It's just lore, uh, basically related to purification and Celebi and a relic forest. And then I will get a silly little email. Uh, and uh, I will open this email and I will not be too fast. There we go. Make sure to not be fast. Very important. If don't, you don't be fast. Yeah, if you're too fast at reading the email, apparently it has a system where it would just not count as the email being read. Yep. Yeah, you have to watch <laughs> it for two frames. So my... So don't be frame My... Prokonor is very low, and I want to keep it that way because I'm about to purify it, and it's already on Torrent, so it will probably stay on Torrent. So this is the ideal lead. Ooh. Oh, oh we should probably mention it. Uh, Abilities. So Gen 3 is the first generation that brought abilities. Uh, Umbreon and Esperon's ability can uh, be also have be put next to a blank piece of paper because it reads the same thing. Mm -hmm. But Croconaw's ability is actually very important for a lot of fights. So Croconaw has the ability Torrent, which d boosts the power of water type moves by 50% at the cost of only activating if your HP is 33% or less. So being keeping in track of your Croconaw's HP is going to be very important because that extra boost in power is going to be incredible, especially for a move that it's going to learn late, later on. That's going to be essentially the main the main reason why anyone would actually run a Croc in the first place. Yes. I am a level short, so this might be a range on this Hitmon top. You're going to be fine. You never yeah, miss fine. it. Yeah. It's okay. fine. Well, thank goodness this Hitmon top still does not have the bright powder attached. Oh, that would be oh. That would be a disaster. It yes, might so make... On the Pikachu fight, for some reason, the croc has a bright powder, but on the fight that you can actually catch it, it has black belt. Yep. So will you be putting the XP share on croc or on Espeon early? Yeah, I did put the XP share on Espeon early. Okay. That'll make up for it. Yep. Yeah, so Ava now is starting mount battle. Uh, it's an area with 10 fights, and this is the ground rock area of the game. This is where Croc's gonna go ahead. Yeah. Yes. Who knew that hitting ground and rocks with water would be a good thing? Yep. Oh. It's the only place Croc is useful. Yeah, and it's the only place where Surf is like kind of fast because it can kill two I things know. sometimes. 
Yeah, most like of, of the time. Unlike other generations where Surf actually just hits both opponents at the same time, this one it really likes to show the impact of Surf. So it takes one turn at a time, at, at a time, which you know some people like that about the animations. Uh, we speedrunners uh, do not. Especially now we're going towards an age where animations are now going to be forced on. Thank you, Scott and Violet. We're going to have to see a lot more of this. And uh, everyone's favorite move, every Pokemon speedrunner's favorite move, Sand Attack. We all love to see it, except when we don't, except when we actually see it, then we don't actually want like to see it. <laughs> it's not the worst, as long as you just hit. Yeah, just hit. Easy. Yeah. There's no problem with that. Yeah. No, there are no problems. I don't see a problem with this logic at all. So yeah, hopefully I just hit here and okay, good, good, good. I, I'm 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 safe now. I'm safe now. Ah, uh, Sandshrew. true. Let's go run as his most notorious Pokemon, especially if you run Let's Go Pikachu. And the reason to run Leaf Green over Fire Red and the FRLG any percent, I think. Yeah, so we're getting Psybeam here. Whoa, shocker. Yeah, it's or Confusion is 50 base power, and yep. Psybeam is 65. Yep, we don't need it for the Sandshrew though. It just Faints to a normal confusion. So you're gonna see that I am about like uh, almost two fights ahead currently. Uh, well, uh, so in testing, at least when me, me and Desfaro were running this earlier, I was three fights ahead going into that battle. Uh, I ended up no fights ahead. So this should... this is the catch up point. This is where Croconaw is finally gonna show it's actually decent slash good. Yep. This is the this is Crocodile's best expertise. It's like how and this how does a uh, Qualava deal with like all these fire and rock types? Does it deal with well or does it deal with poorly? Or it, it manages just well enough actually. Yeah, it plays. Does it, it, it click fire blast and pray? There's like one annoying fight. Flame wheel, blast, you yeah. don't have fire blast. Oh, yeah, not yet. Yeah, right, flame wheel. There's like one annoying fight. Yeah, it it is slow, I mean, with uh qual or it, it's typhlosion at this point. Typhlosion kills only one Pokemon at a time, but it at least gets the kill. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's fine. I mean, when you have the same stats as a Charizard, you'll probably be fine. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's like pretty much everything that needs to die dies to Flame Will. And if it doesn't die, it's just slightly slow. The Sand Slashes are like the biggest problem, but generally it's okay. Yeah, so okay, time for me to purify finally my Feraligator. If everything goes well, I'm already on Torrent and I don't need to get any setup. I can just enter Mount Battle and start surfing. Right, what's your HP at? 12? I don't know. You should be fine. Yeah, 12 is okay, right? Yeah. It's gonna level out of any... Oh. Yeah, so when it levels up and evolves, it'll gain HP 14. equal to the base, the base HP difference? Yeah. Yeah, something along those lines. Also, I really hope that that uh, Lavatar is not signs of things to come in the future. Yo, shout outs to Larvatar. <laughs> the I Pokemon, keep... not the SMS runner. Yeah, true. I keep missing. I keep missing every range so far. I've missed the two ranges I could have missed. So oh. bad, bad start to my battle, and it's already kind of a slow section for me. So <laughs> not a good sign. Not a good sign. Also, yeah. quick note about uh, Crocna. You, throughout, even despite the fight it may not look like it, it still gained all the EXP from all the fights it's been to. It just didn't. It, it hasn't been able to use it because it was in shadow form. But now it gained all the EXP, and if we've done it right, it should be evolved into a Feraligatr by the time that it is. Uh, it is when we get to this point. Yeah. Yep. So I just... promised someone I do. So. so I need to make sure to not do any percent uh, muscle memory on this fight because it's just the opposite targeting of what's normal. You bite to you, dude. Uh, but here. And then you can use this answer. Oh, it's I'm normally not 43. You... No, I'm not on tour. Okay, one return. Yeah. You'll get into it really easily. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so in this game, you, you can only switch the order of moves through the summary screen. In that's, in, that's in most Pokemon games as well. Yeah, but in XD you can just do it Ooh. from the battle itself. Nice. <laughs> oh, yeah, right Gen, oh yeah, Gen 3 thing you can do from actual the battle menu, from Gen 4 onwards where they said, nah, you can't do that anymore. Yeah. So I just got um, 
really lucky. Uh, I crit the Geodid with Bite, so I don't even need to risk the Magnitude damage, and that just saves me a menu pretty much. Oh, Magnitude's a fun move. Oh yeah, it sure is. But I'm very, very fine here. Uh, not going in now, but soon will be one of my least favorite fights of this. Uh, but probably gonna be okay still. Probably gonna be okay still, so. Gonna just keep on holding W, as you would say. Yeah. Or I guess holding up. So on Das's screen, we'll, we're gonna be seeing basically her one turn these fights. Yep. So I'm on fight four, she's on fight one now. Pay attention to where we are at the end of this. Hopefully, nothing goes wrong. Yeah. Yeah. And it can go wrong on this fight, but. Because I'm not on Torrent yet, so that means I need to hit my own Feraliator. You can guess what can go wrong from that. <laughs> Absolutely nothing. No, no, no. I mean, I don't have a Kualava emote that has anything to do with that at all. No, no, no. Absolutely not. It's completely safe. There we go. Okay, then it's free. So, so true. It's just free. Okay, so we just pick uh, Krokona into, or Feraligator into Torrent. That should be enough to one-shot these. Yeah, then now I'm good for the rest of my battle. The reason why Torrent is actually pretty important, it might, it might not be in this fight, but the reason why it is is that uh, spread moves, with the exception of one, uh, have a reduced damage when hitting both when it hits both of his both uh, opponents. This is true for every single spread move in every game in every generation, and it does 75% of its maximum damage because uh, they need to somehow they need to balance spread moves so that it's not like the most busted thing. There is one move that they didn't program correctly that we will be uh, using that does not have the 75% reduction. But aside from that. Yeah, that's why we do need even extra power, extra power boost, especially with Torin. Maybe not in this fight because uh, G both Geodude and Numo are like quad weak to water, so that's probably just yeah. overkill. But in coming up fights, we're going to need, especially I believe, fight ten has a uh, interesting Pokemon that exists. Yep. Yeah. So Surf is spread move, so it'll take it'll do fifty percent each in this game. Oh, 50 percent. Well, seventy five. Um, yeah, I, I still think it's 75. Not in this game. No. Yeah. It's 50. Oh, it's 50. Okay. Yeah. And yeah. actually, for moves that kind of hit all Pokemon, they aren't reduced in this game. And I don't know if that's intentional, but... I don't think that is. Yeah. And we'll be using one of those moves later right. on. So yeah, so, this, this is my least favorite trainer here. Uh, this trainer is so slow on most next. It's slow in general. Yeah. This but, is the fight where you wish you had the spoon. Yeah. These, I mean, smart AI, so these Trap Inch can't kill you. They don't do, a, I don't have a move that's strong enough. So they'll try to use just use Sandstorm. And Sandstorm is slow. It hits both our Pokemon. It's an extra <laughs> two animations at the end of the turn. Um, and they're... The issue with these trap inches, they're not guaranteed. When you have the spoon, you're guaranteed to kill them. 13 and 16. So 13 and 16, just pray. I missed it in practice. Don't forget. To okay, you got one. One of two. Yeah, but that's better than I did in practice. <laughs> so, already improved. Yeah. And Taunt here is actually useful on the Lilip, because the Lilip also tries to sandstorm. Two. Come on. It's just two 13 to 16s. How hard can it be? All right. Got him. Nice. Okay. Surprisingly that's... difficult. Yeah. I... It's not the worst. It, it just sucks. <laughs> yep. Well, if you have a donation, feel free. Go ahead. Right on. I absolutely do. I've got $20 coming in from uh, Sinoius. Says the country of Portugal is cheering for you. Good luck, Farah. Thank you. And good luck to Eva as well. Hope the both of you have great runs. And that twenty dollars went towards our uh, Mega Mam <laughs> uh, incentive for later on today. So thank you very much. Yep. Thank you so much for the donation and thank you so much for the good lucks. Uh, so yeah, this fight pretty much just went optimally. I I, I will not complain. Believe me, they're going to need it later. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. So stop another stop another sandstorm and we'll just be able to take this lily leap out here. Yeah. Meanwhile Das is just one shotting everything. 
Yeah. The I'm... life of a croc. <laughs> the life of a croc. So, but like, in general, I start from, apart from the start where I missed like the two first ranges, this has been like about as good of a mount battle as I could ask for. Um, Overall, I would say this has just been slightly above average RNG, but it was start it started out really poor, so I was <laughs> I was getting worried there for a second, but now I'm good, so cooking. So I think you'll oh fight nine will also be interesting. I guess I'll hold anything yeah. until then. Yeah. For not me, it's not, not for, not for her. Nine is mache. <laughs> you get to you get to have fun. <laughs> I get to really, really pray. And hope that I don't get crit. That'll be the first time we see Plusle. True. Hopefully it goes well. I'm Just an scared. interesting note, Eva's reached fight six, whereas Pharaoh has actually got to fight four, so that's already one fight closer already. Yep. Yep. It's uh, it's quite a difference. To be fair, I just did I did just play the slowest fight I do during the entirety of my battle, discarding the final fight, so that is the place where Tesfaro is going to catch up the most, but yeah, it's uh, it's quite a bigger fight. Forever, I think it's a 5 or 4 turn fight, for me it's a 2 turn fight. Yeah. It's not great. Flinch. This Spinda sucks at any percent. Nice. Loves to crit you. Yeah, but it does like 7 damage. Yeah, but when you're in blaze, that's a lot. <laughs> Just being in safe place, it's fine. Always safe place. Yeah, yeah. Because usually you can take sandstorm hits that's put into potion blades, and then you can pretty much always be safe from it. I don't, I don't think it's too bad. Generally, Cadabra will saw an attack. Are you sure about that? <laughs> Cadabra never attacks. Nope. I should have potioned, but it's fine. I'll just do it outside of the battle. I've been not using many potions, which is good. Apart from like that, the fact that I had to use one potion on on Firma, no, not on Firma, on Kale. Uh, my potion count is pretty good, I believe. So, good signs for things to come, or something. Yep. Yeah, the healing items in this route aren't too strict, especially since you have a second shopping trip. You could always buy more. Yeah. My healing items are strict, but because. For Alligator, it has to do a lot of manipulations to get in and out of Torrent at key points on the run. This mod battle is one of them. I do need to keep a healthy stack of potions and super potions just to be able to do its HP uh, manipulations. Yeah. So, um, yeah, unfortunately I get the, I get the bad lead. Oh, yeah, another case of random leads again. And that's going to be popping up more and more as the run goes on because well, this game doesn't have to. This game has to, isn't complicated enough with just a lot of damage rolls and anything. It also has to add itself with random leads. Yep. Because why? Why? Because why not? Yeah, why not? And this is one of the main reasons. Like the notes are so big. Um, in this one, you only have two options. But some of the later fights, there's five, and then you have to like multiply. Oh, five, I, six. I, I'm not going to do. Th I'm not going to do the math. Yeah. There's a bunch of different orders. It's what three, four in the morning. It's what three in the morning, four in the morning, uh, four, four in the morning, four in the morning. I'm not doing math four in the morning. <laughs> Great time for pe my people back home. Sure. Shout out to the West Coast, the best coast. Something, something. <laughs> Ooh, Ooh. Oh, I'm glad I healed. Not a great crit. Uh, I'm At least you're not a Typhlosion. Yeah, true, true. And I'm really glad I healed, but that's all I'll say. Because uh, that would have been quite unfortunate if it was not for that. But we're cooking, we're good. So, uh, yeah, soon, soon, the, the dawn on the final hour, something, something. <laughs> we haven't talked about uh, trainer names, but this trainer seven here was called the Weej. Oh, yeah, true. Oh. Rider Raiden. Yeah, Hunter Zalo. Uh, great names. Great names. Yeah, this game. It does feel like they just ran through, ran all the names through like a random name generator and just took the ones that sounded good. Yeah. So. Coughing lead, please. It doesn't really matter. Right? Nice. Yeah, it's another random order. You can either have coughing or dusk will lead. Yeah. This this one just like barely matters, but. Yeah. You just have to pay attention. Does 
Just means you can't mash. Speaking of, you can't mash. Oh, there you good. Yeah, I, I was <laughs> I just misinputted, so I needed to correct myself. Oh yeah, it's the oh yeah, it's the fish. Haha. -ha. Anyways. Oh, point. We have to bring back. That's oh. the wrong crit, but sure. It tried its best. I it tried. Because the spinder will attack, and if it crits, uh, it's painful. Yeah. Yep, you don't want to get hit by that. Same with uh, in the Typhlosion route. Pretty good. Okay. So we get Tormented here, uh, so that means I can't use the same move twice, but since I used Confusion last turn, I can side beam this and it kills. So. Yep. That is a range even on lo at level 39, I believe. So, nice. Good stuff. Yeah, one of the main downsides of just having Espeon is that Espeon, and it also the same with almost evolutions, that coverage is not really exactly that greatest yep. thing. Like, we have like now two psychic moves. Also, there is one move we'll get later that somewhat patches up yeah. the coverage issue, but a lot of the time we want to have a second partner to actually deal with, like, coverage. So, we yep. either have water with Crocno or fire with uh, Typhlosion. But Umbreon's dark, not really. Who help? I mean, it's helpful with cases here and there, but it's not really too, yep. too helpful. And also, it just do not do damage, so, you know. Yep. You uh, saw me target myself there um, and let Umbreon take out a Curlia. That is the fastest way to do it. Uh, it saves all the animations, so it's uh, very nice. And, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's time for... Battle 9, which you said was interesting. Yeah, interesting. Yep. Now we just saw Plustle is leading. It is level 11, I think. Yes. Okay, come yeah, on. Yeah, just watch. <laughs> I just need to not... I need this to not go silly mode. Nice. Just come on. Don't crit me. Oh, it's 13. I lied. Uh, Sorry. I also lied, though. I said the same. I mean, this is just a lying stream today. No. Okay, now don't crit me. Do not. I can't look. <laughs> <laughs> so who's faster, the rock or the level 13 Pokemon? Whoa. Oh, level 13. Common alpha rocks. Yep. Okay, you can't crit, just don't crit me. Yeah. So both oh. these Geodudes use self-destruct. Pray. Alright, that's also down. That's obvious. Dash slash. No crit. critical hit. <laughs> As you can probably tell of a damage range, if there was a critical hit, that has been dead. Yep. Without the growl, it's also dead. Yep. Um, the strat before, the, the first one I made for this is you actually let Espeon die, and you, you can actually one turn this fight by having Umbreon bite and kill this Sandshrew after the self-destruct. Um, it ends up being worse because Espeon will miss an important level after this next fight, which is why we moved to this strat where we actually use Plusle. Little known fact for those who don't know about Explosion and self-destruct, prior to Gen 5, they, uh, when doing damage calc, half the defense. Yeah. Did anyone see how much HP my Umbreon was? One, yeah. One of them does it here. I, when I was making, I made a spreadsheet for this game and I had to do math for that. The old me did the math. Right, I don't remember fine. it anymore. That's totally fine. Okay. All right. And we're at fight 10. Dakim. Yeah. This guy is generally not that scary. Especially on this route. You can kind of fix most things that happen. <laughs> I mean, this guy definitely looks like he's from like a fight. Fine. Yeah, he just something. punched <laughs> Yeah, the, the, this guy. In XD that I ran last year, uh, you see a trainer using a move on a person, or, or yeah, Pokemon using a move on a person, and here you see a guy just punching someone. It's a bit like Lance's Dragonite using Hyper Beam on that rocket guy. Yeah. It's uh, it's kind of rare to see like Pokemon attacking people, or just people attacking people like that in general. Camera bleed. Camera bleed. That's that's the rare one actually. Yeah, and it's the plus four lead, so haha, yeah. -ha, funny. The common lead here is uh the Tang Golem. Golem. You can get Marsh Tomp, the second most common, and then the most rare is Camera Up. It doesn't really change 
much when you start with Camera versus Golem, most routes. Yeah, but I'm on the Geodude fight now for Eva. It's very scary for me. It's just Mache and <laughs> for Alligator, we'll take care of the rest. Yeah, I mean, you're going to be on the same fight very soon. Yep. No crits, yeah. good. Yeah, turn one here doesn't really change because this has like protect EQ AI. Ah, protect. VGC's most favorite move. <laughs> yep, so this camera just gonna go down here to a plus three confusion. Oh, I use confusion in this fight. They alternate protect here, but if, if you get a flinch, then it kind of messes up the AI. You have to be aware of that. Yep. And we'll actually see that uh, coming up here. If this is the one where the confusion uh, actually doesn't change the AI. So, or uh, getting flinched, I mean, doesn't change the AI, so. Oh, missing that sand slash. Kind of annoying. It's mean, annoying, yeah. but it's a bad range. You need a really good special attack, and mine's just above average. Oh, I just looked at the uh, IVs. Uh, that is a very slow croc. Yeah. No. Two IV speed. It's, uh, oh, this is why it's I'm scared. It'll be fine. But it's got hidden power water 55. Like, that's probably good for it because Surf sucks. Nice. So I got flinch. It actually doesn't change AI here. In this case? Yeah. Okay. So this is the first time I'm doing HP manipulation. I need this Proligator to be able to survive oh. an earthquake from uh, the methane. Well, crit. Uh, what's the plan here now? I guess Golem. I think it's fine. Golem is already protected. Oh, uh, hi, Ante. How do I deal with Ante here? Okay. Yeah, just let it hit. Uh, you could try to heal hit. Espeon. I have I heal Espeon and just hit Ante, right? Hit Golem. Hit Golem? Yeah. Okay, sure. Yeah, let, let it. Uh, I think Golem just double edges, right? It sounds a little scary, I don't know. Yeah. I can give you a meme ants if you want. No, um, this is a spell's turn. Gotta remember that they're swapped. Uh, I'll just do this. Let's see. Yeah, okay. I can give you a meme Oh, answer. I'm getting Marsh Stomp. Ooh, Marsh Stomp. Now we pray for Fire Blast. Have you ever seen Fire Blast Mess? No, it doesn't happen. Nope. Yeah. Never lucky. Oh, that did nothing. <laughs> that actually did nothing. Wow. Weak. <laughs> yep. Actually weak. Yeah, very weak. Very nice, though. Yeah, good fight. That was a good Akeem. Very good Akeem. I got the good flinch as well. That doesn't even change the AI. Very nice. And the crit ended up being good, probably, I would say. Letting an Earthquake hit Croc that low HP is always scary. Yeah, the, the crit there can really, really ruin you, so... Didn't you get double crit in practice? Yeah, it did. But it was with Golem lead. Oh, okay, okay. I do nice. like the strat with Marsh Stomp. It's just serve three times and a special for Alligator three times and you're done. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Nice. It's a nice strat. Yeah. You could. There is something that you could arguably do that is very much stupid and you shouldn't do it, but it is oh. funny if you choose to do it. Uh, I believe I you have a spare Pokeball in your, in your inventory, right? No. I do. It's a legendary. I will not. No, no, no. I have done. I have just done very quickly what the calculation of catching a full health Pokeball on the first attempt. Do you want, do you want to know this information? No. Yes. I think I know it. It is... 2%? No. What is it? 0.418%. Oh, wait. These have different catch rates, so. Oh. Well, if it's <laughs> generic catch rate, then it's 0 0.418. Let me but if they have shadow catch, catch rates, then I have absolutely no idea. Yeah, they are different in this game. They're increased. Well, because, like, so I did something different here, because this croc is very slow. So this Entei outspeeds. So I did the next speed instead. It will probably not kill the Entei, but I have so much XP on this croc that I don't really... Oh, never mind. Just Died hit the anyway. range. Just hit the imaginary yeah, range just, that exists. Just have an Entei with a really bad special uh, special defense. That works too. That works too. Not punished. Let's go. Never punished. Yeah, that's the Kim in croc. 
just surf a bunch. Yep. That's the TLDR. Oh, yeah, Spencer. by the way, they're both now finished, and yeah, look how the difference of how much croc catched up in this area. Yep. It's uh, quite quite a lot. It's, uh... It is 2.1%. Nice. No, the reason I know this is because Tass actually catches the Entei. <laughs> the last Pokemon it catches. I'm not grabbing the revives. I if have like four revives. If you have a donation tree, you can go ahead. This is going to be like 10 minutes of walking around now. Right on. Well, we've got $10 coming in from Sitar Hobo. They ask, are birds yucky? Asking for a friend. <laughs> Bear. Hi, Sitar. Are they? I mean, we need to answer the question. We was Crisis? You're the bird guy? So what was the question? I was on now for about 12 seconds. <laughs> are birds yucky? No, oh. birds are great. <laughs> Unless you're a pigeon, then then they're yucky. <laughs> That's the only bird I will not tolerate. I refuse to answer this question. I I also refuse. I mean, like, at this point, like, with all the pressure that's been put on me from this audience and these people, I mean, I, I really, I prefer not to speak. <laughs> <laughs> if, I, if, I, if, if I speak, big trouble. So, uh, yeah, I'm just going to skip a trainer here. Uh, it's an optional, quote unquote, pretty much the only. Uh, what we can call an optional in this game. Pretty normal with pocket monsters. I'm actually just gonna take up my memory card because it doesn't matter at this point. We never yeah. took a picture, by the way. Oh, oh. right. Uh, we'll, we'll, we, well, have we, we have time. We can always just grab one at the end of the run. Like yeah. it's not like <laughs> it's a big deal. True, true. Oh yeah, you're all listening in on our picture-taking plans. Huh? But yeah, yeah. We, took a, we took a picture last time. Yeah. The run, so. yeah. So this is uh, the under. This is. Uh, I mean, like, Venus, everyone likes Venus, right? No. Everyone's favorite fight. Oh. Mm, big fan, big fan. You know, I might actually take the PC. Uh, not like take the PC, but like save at the, P save at the PC so my respawn point is closer if I somehow die. <laughs> I yeah, think. fun little fact. Uh, because this is a GameCube game in the 2000s, or just any game in the 2000s, uh, you can't just save anywhere and everywhere. You, can you have to save at very specific points. Yeah. Because thanks game design back in 2000s. Yeah. We love you. Thankfully they fixed it in XD, but not in this one. I'm actually going to do it. It's just like a quick safety thing anyway. Yeah. Yeah, because it's added difficulty because that's exactly what we want. Bro, no memory card. Save failed? Shocking. Yeah. I can't believe that dude is. We're going to use this later, but I'm giving everyone a free preview. Yeah. So even if the save fails, attempting to save will set your spawn point there. Yep. So, whereas my normal spawn point would be far back at, uh, in, in normal pyrite, and I'd have to just walk all the way over here, and it would be very slow. Yeah. Yeah, Venus has a Pokemon, has a lot of scary Pokemon, but yeah. one Pokemon in particular that just one-shots Espeon, and you cannot give it a turn. Yeah, it's because uh, we're going to see another level spike here, and why does, this even, why does this even spike here? Is it just because we're, like, kind of... Not following the exact intended path of the story, or is it just like, oh yeah, we're gonna just yeah, get I think hard. so. I think casually you would have more XP, yeah, more of the ca uh, like uh, optional fights. Yeah, Riku, the Kingdom Hearts run is in two hours. Just wait a little bit, okay? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So under is just uh, underground city. It's kind of taken over by the enemy, um, but there's these cool kids here that I'm, Das can talk about. I mean, the under is like an under. I mean. It's under like a under something. It's their strong. I mean, it's their stronghold. It's like known for being kind of criminal. So it's not even been taken over by the enemy. It's just like they've they've always <laughs> been own. here. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, that cutscene right there is like so weird because it takes like forever for no reason. Yeah, a lot of cutscenes in this area. Ah oh, yes, because cutscenes in Pokemon for things that you can't skip no matter how hard you try, and even when they add a skip button, you still don't skip a lot of them. So you want to talk a little bit about the story now, Juan? Like, at this point? I was hoping Das would, because I don't remember. I can do it. <laughs> we, don't, we, don't have the, we don't have the script here. <laughs> the story, what story? Something something about a data part. We're delivering a data part to, to some, some guy called uh, Net. And this guy appears in XD and is quite an important character in XD. We report back to him all the time. Uh, so... Another like recurring thing. Oh, I also managed to push Rui out of the way, so I get a slightly faster way to walk up the stairs here. Yeah, Rui really loves getting nice. in your way. Yeah, Rui is very controversial. 
There's no controversy. So it's becoming a little visual glitch here. Like, did you see that, like, a little lightning across the screen? That, that always happens on every version of the game. Always just find that funny. It's just like a weird visual incon or I guess it's a consistency uh, that just appears in every run. So Silva here, we saw earlier, um, we saved him when we, beat, when we beat Firma. He gets captured again. Yeah. Whoa. But this time, he's going to be more useful than last time because he's going to give us something. He's going to give us the R-Disc, uh, I believe. For some reason, they didn't take his belongings when they captured him. Which ends up being very useful for us. So I'm and actually... There's plenty of places you can hide a hard, a hard disk. Yep. Don't ask. <laughs> so I'm just going to go buy some stuff. I'm actually going to do something, a safety strat. Uh, so I'm just going to sell these. Here's where we actually buy all the TMs we're going to need for the rest of the run. Um, uh, depending, this is also where you would buy Fire Blast for Kulava. Here, what we want is Hidden Power. We want Protect. Um, oh. Hyper Beam, if you're doing older route. Yeah, Hyper Beam, you'll see for Croc, though. Yeah. Also, a nice thing. Uh, this is PAL version. And you can see that because uh, my TMs are in numerical order. Yeah, you save a frame. Whoa. Scrolling. It's so nice. Technically, two. I guess I ne we never mentioned this, but um, the Manipo 60 frames per second. Menus are 60 frames per second, but the rest of the Wait, game is 30 please. frames per second. You're not helping. It draws, it runs at 60 FPS, but draws every other thing. Yeah. So I'm about to pick up three rare candies. In the Japanese version of the game, you can actually pick up these rare candies through this door, whereas I actually have to open the door. Yeah, the hitboxes in the Japanese version are just huge. Yep. So, uh, gotta make sure to do this correctly. And I don't actually know whose fight is faster. I want to say Croc's fight is faster. I want to say it's pretty even. Does Croc yeah. lead Plessel? No. No, yes, he does. It okay, does then it's probably even. I should probably explain. Uh, hidden power, pretty good move. So what it is, is it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a move that it's typing and power is dependent based on your IV. So part of the manipulation wasn't just to make sure we get a good, you know, stats, but obviously we want a good stats, but, but the reason why we can't just manip for, say, 31 everything is because hidden power is actually a very important thing as it gives Espeon a little bit of coverage in the umber in the no snags route uh espion is going to get hidden power fire because that's the because it needs coverage for certain things that i do not know steel types steel types specifically and uh for uh crocknor is going to be hidden power electric electric because it needs coverage for things i also don't know for okay a lot of interesting see. stuff flying okay. types, Felix. uh also i mean skarmory Felix flying yeah, but uh, yes. Uh, cr if you are running a uh, the any percent, you would actually be manipulating for hidden power grass to deal with, I guess, the pesky ground uh, ground rock types. Yes. That uh, Fulava cannot deal with. So Venus here always leads Delcaddy. Its second Pokemon is random. It'll choose between Steelix, Bayonet, and Vileplume. Steelix seems like the most common. Bayonet always yeah. looks I kids. always get Wild Plume, so I have to disagree. <laughs> I, I swear I never get Wild Plume. I never see it. <laughs> well, Wild Plume might be more common on Croc. Huh? Um, yeah. We don't. The one thing we don't know about this game is how it decides what lead. We know how it decides what gets sent out next. We just don't know how it chooses the first lead. Oh. Anybody wants to find out? Go ahead. Oh, uh, nice crit. Uh, crit task strats. As long as I don't get crit. Uh, I guess just uh, take a wild blood. It... Oh, actually, I don't know. You're gonna need to heal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Heal. Wild blood or Steelix here? I think wild blood, right? Yeah, wild blood's control. This is where like there's there is the right choice here. It's just you, know, you gotta. What is the right? <laughs> you gotta adapt. Yeah. Uh, oh, Steelix still now Steelix is gonna hit Sweet Coon, which isn't that scary. So probably take. That's. Uh, yeah, I'm trying to think what is. Synchronize is also slow. Sweet Coon is gonna do like. Bob Plume would have attracted or. Uh, I know of a category is no snacks, but uh, two percent for the fans. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, that's so good. <laughs> I just yeah. sold all of my balls for money, so... 
I could, but yeah. yeah. I'm not going to. If I was, if I was gonna remake the, the, the tasks, I would catch this uh, sweep. That's oh, the really? one and optimal thing. Oh, two and up, three and optimal things I did in the in the tasks. I would do it for the fans, but yeah, we will spoiler refight these later. And every time you see a shadow Pokemon, Rui tells you it's a shadow Pokemon. So if we catch it the first time, Rui doesn't tell us it's a shadow Pokemon the second time. See, time save. Yeah. Yeah, but I want the experience. I really want the experience. <laughs> oh, hey, I got Steelix. Oh, oh for I change. Right. It's, it's actually so free. Like, why do people think this game is hard? Okay, so both got the same lead. So, yeah. I'm slower than Steel. Slower than Lakati. While she's doing that, if there are any donations to read, we might get those read. Yeah, as you have probably noticed, the voice of the reader changed. Uh, that's because I have started my shift. Uh, my name is Mikey, and from and for the ba for the next uh, two hours, I will uh, accompany you during during your run. And indeed, we do, we do have one donation from Tempest Mask, a, a thousand. Uh, he donates seven dollars and one cent, <laughs> and comments. Uh, oh, that's a long message. <clears throat> Okay. I'm so glad I got to catch the run of my most nostalgic GameCube and Pokemon games growing up, especially with Ivanisia playing. It was a pleasure meeting you during ESA Winter earlier this year and chatting, uh, chatting a bit. Best of luck with this cool idea for a race and good luck to Das Pharaoh. Faro. I hope that I read that correctly yeah, as well. And folks, let's see if we can meet that in incentive for oh, my pal, no. LVC, I don't think LV it's... Creed. This donation honors my favorite rough and tough avian, no, number 701, Aoluha. Oh, nice. It could have been bad. <laughs> let's do that. Yeah, but that's but cool. Felix should have died. Uh, she's fine though, right? Yeah, I used Taunt. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, it uses taunt because uh, Delcaddy uh, is on kill range. It can go for rock slide. Didn't, that's what matters. Yeah. So, uh, in this fight, uh, this trainer is called Freyna, and at the end of this fight, uh, I can allow her to cry or I can not allow her to cry. Uh, doing one of them is faster, but it doesn't really matter uh, in the grand scheme of things. But fun fact, like all of these Pokemon that she's using right now, they all know fake tears, apart from Skyger, I think? Yes. Yeah. So uh, it's just like a fun little Easter egg. Like she cries at the end of the fight, and the fight has a bunch of Pokemon with fake tears, which you'll actually see now. This almost always goes for fake tears. I've never thought about that, but you're right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it makes sense. Uh, yeah, no, it's just like a little Easter egg thing. <laughs> So uh, hopefully Glagger. Nope. Sad. Oh, okay. Sad. Speaking of sad, sad attack. Not Espeon. Oh, crying. You know what? Let's do that. Okay. Now we just gotta hope there's a miss. Er, this. Ooh, if this doesn't it. miss, it should kill. Nice. Okay. Let's go. Hey. Nice. Backups from backups from backups. <laughs> also, despite the animation looking like it's a special move, it is actually a physical attack. And uh, for those who are unfamiliar with Krokonos, uh, for alligator stats, its physical attack is higher than its special attack. Yep, and especially this Croc, because it also has higher IVs in attack than special attack, so in this specific Croc. So I'm just actually, I'm gonna allow Frana here to cry, so yes, and then she's gonna cry. And that's the end of that fight. I think Frana is faster. Yeah, crying is faster. <laughs> crying saves time. You heard it here first. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, this is... Um, oh, yeah, remember when Bolton baited me into uh, taking out Bayleaf, uh, or taking Bayleaf in those snacks, and then Umbreon doesn't actually kill this Corellia because it loses out on one extra special attack IV? Oh, yeah. that was Cabby. Yeah, I, me I meant Cabby. Yeah, not Bolton. Uh, yeah, Cabby was a runner. He did a lot of no snags. <laughs> he wasn't very good at routing, though. <laughs> yeah, turns out. 
I swear, he baited me into that for so long. <laughs> it never yeah, worked. And then, and then I get a message from Ava saying, hey, your route's wrong. I'm like, no. No, Cabby's wrong. <laughs> you listen to Cabby. <laughs> You're wrong. The first mistake. Yeah. <laughs> shout out to Cabby, though. Yeah, shout out to Cabby. Love the guy. Cool guy. Wish he was around more. Yeah. So, your fight has the Stantler. That... Oh, is it actually scary in this route? No, it's it, not really that scary. It's scary in any percent with Typhlosion. The amount of Pokemon that are scary in this run is actually incredible. Yeah. Like, oh, Mantine, Forret, now <laughs> Stantler. <laughs> yep. I mean, the Bayonet. The Bayonet is super scary. Uh -huh. Next thing you're going to tell Hit me is that there's going to be a Sunken that's going to be scary. There's a Sunflora that's... Not a Sunken, and a Sunflora for me. Yeah, not for me. It's... I mean, like, it's... Let's is it scary? It all, Wait, do you do that fight? Hmm? Yes. You do that? Oh. Yeah, we don't skip those fights. I don't even do them. Damn. Spoilers. Hmm. Oh, true. Oh, we're almost to I that I mean, how can we game. spoil something if I don't know what, what, what was the context of this? <laughs> uh, slash, I guess. Uh, yeah, this doesn't get one shot with Hyper Beam. But yeah, this game has everything. I'm just gonna get this plus zero range. It's actually so free. Easy. <laughs> that was actually like, I'm pretty sure that was unfavored. <laughs> <laughs> I forget. Uh, Croconaut or for alligator uses slash. Oh yeah. I didn't move. really have anything else better to do that turn because I don't think Hyper Beam can kill this from a hundred. I should have looked at it though. This next fight is also more annoying in any percent than in those snacks. It's still kind of annoying on this round. Oh, Hyper Beam would have killed. Oh well. Not nearly as yeah, annoying. Fine. It would have missed. Let's see what lead I get. Uh, don't scratch I, my ask. I guess I can see where the Fire Blast problem is by Sutter. Okay, from here, from this point onwards. Do I go for the risky yep. strat? I go for the risky strat. Oh. Oh, we're doing. It, it's not. It's not even that risky. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we're doing stuff for the con for the fans. Yeah. yeah for yeah, content. Yeah. Content. As long as you get the 15 and 16. Yeah. That. Okay, not that risky. Yeah, these no, that's what I'm saying. The not mask rain loves to use sun powder since it can't kill you. Um, we want to kill it. We need to boost S <laughs> to plus one. And oh, and it lived. Yeah. <laughs> lived. If you go to plus one, it doesn't live. It's, Ooh, it's fine. Miss. It just means it's going to troll. Um, and you're going to see synchronize. Is it fine? It's fine. It gives time for Das to catch up. Oh, so that blank piece of paper actually has text on it. Good to know. Yep. I don't even know how to adapt to this fight now. Hmm. Uh, you're fine. Definitely heal paralysis. Yeah. Uh, and that probably just take a mask right? Since it's low. Yeah. And does Patch doesn't die here, so. Yeah, Dunsparce has Ice Beam. That's the only one that can status you. E no, it does Glare. Oh, right, right. I guess now you have to pray it doesn't use Glare. Uh, it's taunted. Oh, well, then it definitely won't use Glare. It's gonna spam Headbutt. Oh, that's damage. Uh. No. Yeah, it's gonna be awkward. I, I need to full heal. Yeah, or like, uh, yep. like special. And then side beam the artillery. Yeah, so ideally, you always dun uh, taunt the Dunsparce every other turn, so it'll just only use Headbutt. Um, it is still random, it might not go for Glare. Yep. I mean, it's just going to miss Glare, which is the fastest thing you can do. Yeah. But you do need the boost to kill Octillery. Yeah. And with this Paul, Paul, yeah, Pile of Swine as well. Even Glare isn't that bad here. It's just like a slightly annoying. It's honestly yeah. like might be almost almost be preferable. Oh, sad. Sad. Or synchronize. Woo! Yeah. Woo. It's totally not just slow. At least you, <laughs> you have extra full heal. Okay, I should yeah, be good yeah. on levels now. You're caught up? Yeah, I can use the rare candies now. I should be able to get Psychic on time. Good stuff. Which fight did you just finish? Uh, Lyax. Lyax? Nice. So we got three rare candies and we haven't used them yet. Because I was Only three. waiting Only for three. Espeon to finish a fight on a level up so I don't really lose any more experience. Yes, we... Espeon will learn Psychic at 47, and we want it ideally before a certain fight. Um, 
Ava will get 47 after this next fight. Perfect timing. And then um, Dash should get it. Yep. Oh, we get it at later. the same time. It's after the Sneasel. Oh, okay. Yeah. Dash is about a fight behind now. I, I lost probably like a minute there. Yeah. Uh, but I, I mean, like, we got to go for the strats for the fence. fans. And it's even funnier when it doesn't work. So. Yeah. And both got the same lead. Uh, I think that lead is worse mm, for Dash, though. But no, this I like this lead because the Mask Rain doesn't do status. She go it goes for Psybeam. Oh, okay. Ooh. I mean, that's, so I oh, can one-shot the then sparse and then deal with everything else. Yeah, that's free then. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's, it's been like literally years. The one cross, that so. you don't want to see on this route is Aquatillery, but whatever, that thing is pronounced. Okay, got the most common oh, lead, oh, I think. Sorry. I yeah. Pokemon pronunciations, who cares? We just mispronounce <laughs> everything. Let's just mispronounce every single Pokemon we see from, from the time being, just to annoy everyone. <laughs> Why not? So this Sneasel, also kind of scary. Yeah. It is kind of scary. It's not like terribly scary. This is like, okay, well, now it's kind of scary. Yeah, it screeches you and then it goes for Shadow Rush. Yeah. It'll do a lot of damage. It will, this Espeon is very tanky though, but this it'll still do a lot of damage. And also it outspeeds, which probably is the most problematic actually, currently. Yeah. Otherwise you can just kill it next turn. Yeah. That is correct. So, unfortunately, we actually need to. We need to set up here, uh, and I will taunt Loudred and just hit the Paris Nasal. And this is still fine. Better rush. Okay. That's fine. Yeah, not bad. Don't even need to heal. Oh, nice. I don't think with the damage that that's a range of plus one. Could be wrong. I think at plus one it's not. Yeah. I'm also like high level. <gasps> no way. Oh, it lived. It did. Uh, let's go for race beyond so I can just protect. And return on the next turn. You missed a range? Oh, yeah, I did. Mine. Yeah, but it's very You had low. earthquake. <laughs> uh, that. Soon. Although, if you had earthquake, the AI actually cheats and. It's like, should I use Dig? Oh, no, 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 the no. enemy team has Earthquake. I'm not going to. Yes, the uh, leader move to make room for Psychic. Uh, TM slash soon. Very important. Teach Psychic to your Espeon. It's a strong video game move. Yes. You really need Psychic, though? Yes. Yes. Do you or we really? Are, we are not psychic, going to debate though? this. Yes. We are, yeah. This is a debate that I'm not even taking. <laughs> and then you know it's then you know it's bad. Oh, no. Okay, we do need Psychic, actually. But... <laughs> Yeah, 90 base power, very strong psychic, very strong move, and especially for just both, just both over, especially in the end game where things are higher level than us. I will have, I have no experience of what that, what that's like. Uh, we're gonna need lead. strong, we're gonna need strong moves. So yeah, that's Nellis, and that's actually the final fight of this like mini gauntlet after Venus. It's gonna be a bit of walking now, actually, and a little bit of subwaying or metroing. So, like, they think you're supposed to, like, research to train for Venus here, but we actually know what she does, so we just immediately leave again. And, ooh, would you look at that? She's outside. They got, she really got us there, huh? Yeah, fun fact, you don't have to go through the train to chase her. You can just go out the same way. Yep. Shoutouts to Photo. Photo train. <laughs> <laughs> photo, oh my god. Yeah, one of the, one runner, uh, Photo, would go through the train, come out the other door that Ava's just about to come in. Um, we told him about that, and then next day he gets like a seven minute PB or something. <laughs> we said the, the train saved him seven minutes. It, it, it saved him like five seconds. <laughs> uh, I don't like this. I don't think it's gonna die. The photo's been going really going at this game though. This NXT. He's kind of a new runner, but he's been, been popping up. Yeah. Same with Zeke. Pretty new runner. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that guy's, that's kind of, he's kind of a rookie, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Zeke, Zeke, uh, Zeke has accomplished world domination. Uh, no, world peace. <laughs> <laughs> Is it world peace? Is it world domination? I don't know. Looks an awful lot like world domination. Okay, <laughs> we just kill so Zeke likes to say, I'm going for a world record for world peace, and then sometimes it's world domination. 
it goes back and forth. I think it depends on his like mood. Yeah, it definitely does. Zeke oh, got maybe? both records for Coliseum NXT recently. For any percent? Yeah. He does not have no snags or all snags or Honda records. Yeah, previously Balton had records for everything. Um, Xarian came, got the record um, by a few seconds, and now Zeke has world dominated, world east the category and got a big, big one world day, record. Only for any percent though. Yeah. One day, one day he'll stop throwing a fit and run Hondo. <laughs> one day. Oh yeah, I'm gonna take the elevator because funny. Uh, elevator is like a second slower. Yeah, second. Yeah. It's so much less work. Um, yeah. And if your staircase movement isn't perfect, then you may just lose time. It's kind of easy to save time. It's just hard to save one second. Yeah, yeah. Remember, people, take the stairs. It's a second faster every time. Always take the stairs. Always healthier. True. That too, but healthier. It's, it's faster. That's the that's the important part. Yeah, healthier and faster, especially in this hotel. <laughs> Yeah, and if you're on floor two, take the stairs from floor one, or you'll get a tweet written about you. Yeah, I'm on floor <laughs> 11, so that's really an option. That's just a skill issue. <laughs> Damn. I can't believe you've done this. Oh yeah, time to uh, time to shop. Big fan of shopping. A large fan. Oh, right. So we've you basically used up a lot, or if not all our X, Wait, what? X items. We probably have maybe two left. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. Yeah, so 90% you actually don't come back here. You have enough for the whole run. In this route, we come back, buy some more. Yep. It's, it's kind of necessary. Um, and we save the time back anyways. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. So I'm going to get X attacks, and I'm going to get the next defend, one X speed, and then I'm going to spend the rest on X specials. So oh, that's 25. That's more than enough. <laughs> it's really interesting you get, you do get X attacks and an X defend. It's kind of the only route that does. I, oh, all snags, you may get one X defend for weird stuff with Rhyhorn so in post game. Eva was right. talking about something funny. I also want to talk about something funny. Uh, this is the spreadsheet that I'm using. It's a little far away, but you can see it's rather complex. And it shows all the information that I need to make sure I survive in every single fight. <laughs> and also all the HP values that I need for Feraligate in order to maintain or regain Torrent. I don't, I genuinely don't know who made this, but whoever it was, it's my personal hero. There's spreadsheets for every single one of the starters, and they're very, very useful to have. I made the first, I made the first spreadsheet. I, ref, I made it for every other Pokemon except Croc. I refuse because I'm not a Croc <laughs> fan. <laughs> Finally, Zeke got up from his, or yeah, that word, um, and made it. Zeke awoke from his slumber. Yeah. I mean, all he did was like change a couple values here, there. So. so what you're saying is that he stole your work and then took credit for it. I mean, I, I could have said it was me, uh, but I'm nice. Damn. You really are looking out for the people. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Etiquette, you have competition on who makes better spreadsheets. True. Oh, I don't, I don't think there's a well, th there's true, there's, no debate. There, There is actually not even like a debate. Like, Juan, the king of spreadsheets. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Etta. Eva did her shopping Fianac, it's my turn. I don't have X speeds ready and I do need one more. Other than that, I'm also just gonna stock up on X attacks. I do need do X specials and I also do need a few X attacks. Yep. Because Croc is physically oriented and they're gonna keep using hyper, hyper beams. Actually, uh, speaking of etiquette, I. Uh... I've kind of just come back from Chicago, where I beat him at the Pokemon trading card game. So like, um, I haven't. Yeah. So can't even beat the color community at that, Ada. <laughs> 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 no, no, seriously, Ada's a great guy. Just <laughs> yeah, he's awesome. Yeah, just a little bit of fun. Yep, that was the Pokemon community. Actually, big shout out to like the the community as a whole. It's it's great. It's great. Like, things like PSR Marathon and the, just the Pokemon Speedrun podcast and stuff like that. It's just Great that we that we're actually able oh, to put that on and have the resources for that. Uh, shoutouts to the JP community. We're about to discuss them. True. Actually, shoutouts to the JP community. 
Uh, which sometimes they're kind of forgotten about, like by the Western Pokemon speedrunning community, just because they interact sparingly, I would say. Uh. Yeah, for, and for Quirk Coliseum, it, it was more of a language thing. But here is the reroutes. Um, I guess let's let's just see it in action first. We're gonna see it a lot. <laughs> yeah. So you just deposited two of your Pokemon. Oh, Wanna see? Oh, I accidentally oh. exited instead of uh, the doubled my input, I think. To save. Whoa. Save failed. Shocker. That was fast. Whoa. So then... your Bustle's still level 13, right? Yeah. Is the Pokemon here like 43? Yeah. It's gonna pop off. Alright. You gotta let you gotta let him cook. He is the true hero. And every fight's still a double fight, so you're gonna be doing every fight 1v2, right? Yeah, yeah. exactly. So it's, it's gonna be rough here. All right. It's gonna be real rough. I believe in Plusle. Always believe. No DNA sample, by the way, to the right. Uh, nice to note that now. Yeah, unfortunately you can't skip the trainer the first way. That no, the, the one that I only go for. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. Oh yeah, I'm gonna go for the trainer skip. The, the easy one? Yeah, yeah the easy okay. one. Not the, not, the, <laughs> not, the, not the silly way. Just the easy one. I mean, All right, why, why not? Alright, Puzzle, cook. let's go cook. Yo, let him cook. Oh, I growled. Uh. Uh. Right. Missed him, but. Uh, oh no, that's a that's a, that 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 puzzle dead. Oh no. Anyways, not like it's a plan or anything. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, yeah, it's uh. Oh no. Yeah. Yeah. Let, let, just, yeah, yeah go go with Espeon. Take. Yeah. I'm sure you can win with just Espeon. Yeah. yeah. Uh, um, we don't need the the. The black cat, surely. We're fine. It's useless. Yeah, it never does anything. I mean, have you ever seen? Have you seen it do anything this run? No. No. I'm sure. I'm sure it doesn't make a difference to just keep the. I've seen it heal Espeon a lot. Yeah. yeah. And also give Espeon a bunch of X items. Yeah. Unintentionally. Yeah, but that's we can't we can't like reward Umbreon for that. That's that's not Umbreon's work. That's Espeon. So the trainer didn't appear again. That's cool. Yeah, I wonder where he went. Think he got scared of Puzzle? Yeah, we should go looking for him. No. Nah, we don't. Need to look Can I pick up? I think, he, I think he just recovered. I think he went to his therapy session. Yeah. <laughs> Therapy's important. Everyone should. Yeah. So Ooh. a lot of the trainers, specifically the ones that jump down from the sky, um, win or lose, you don't see them again. So for Umbreon and Croc, um, you actually just lose. And go back and you just uh, skip them. Yep. It ends up being faster. You do have to walk back a bit, but it's still faster. And now I pray. I lost four times to this in practice. Yeah, so if you want to be fast here, you just come with Espeon. Um, Espeon will one shot all of these Pokemon. Uh, but they all use Thunder, so we yes. need them to miss. Nice. Okay. I mean, it's pretty much free now. I can't right. really lose. Worst case, I have to stall off Thunders, but like... Right. Or get crit, but like, that's unlikely. Surely not. Surely you won't crit the 70% accurate move. Yeah. So Also, it wouldn't have mattered. <laughs> okay. No, it's, that's fine. It's, I have synch synchronized. So. Fun thing, you electric types can get paralyzed in this generation. A little troll, but it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> no one can move. How long will this go? Oh, sad. Only one turn. It's fine. We get to watch Plusle die again. Oh, true. <laughs> We're going to be seeing that a lot. This yeah. is, I believe, the first game that we actually lose on purpose. We actually lose fights on purpose. Oh, maybe. Because we don't do that in Gen 1 or Gen 2 at all. Unless there's like some uh, like glitch thing that we need yeah. to lose on purpose. But that's... Not playing glitchless, we don't do that, and it's only really ever done ever again in Sun and Moon and in Skull and Violet. Yeah. Skull and Violet does still do it more times because we actually lose four fights in Skull and Violet, and essentially this plus will predates Lechonk's duties of actually just being a sacrificial lamp. <laughs> Winks up. So yeah, no, uh, you saw me scrape a trainer there. That's just like basically uh, you just hold. Uh, uh, into the like up left uh, GameCube controller notch, and that skip is entirely free. Yep. So, 
So I guess let's talk about this strat where we just lead with Plusle, or in this case, Espeon, it's already damaged, it'll die here. And um, serves the same purpose. Hopefully no Carvana. Yeah, no. that's good. So I started talking with the JP community, and there's one runner, Tika EX. You kind of wrote an article on like what happens when you lose to certain bosses in certain scenarios. And when I was reading it, I saw that, you know, you die to these and you can continue. And I started, I was like, huh, maybe this is this works for Umbreon. <laughs> and it does. You just save like three minutes. Umbreon is really bad as, uh, going through these fights. And you, now it's actually in every category. You do know that psychic moves don't work on Dark Touch, right? Whoa, no. Oh? I didn't know, and I'm dead. Oh. But didn't tell me before. Because you were you talking. Wow, no. You have interrupted me. Oh, yeah, true, true, true. What the hell, man? It's not like this is the thing we have to lose again in any way. It doesn't matter. Yeah. But yeah, shout out to Tika. <laughs> Big shout outs. Yeah. Like, this run would not be the same without that. Like, at all. I'm sure eventually we'd have got there, but... Yeah, but <laughs> it would have taken us longer. Yeah, yeah. Tika was a big Croc fan, actually. The JP community loves Crocana. For some reason. I don't know why. It's it's a question that look, we still wait, cannot look, answer. Look, 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 look at the boy. Or oh, is it boy or girl this time? Who knows? Who oh, boy. boy? Look at the boy. Look at the boy. Look at him. Yeah, not a fish. Damn. Oh, well, that's a debate I'm not going to do. There's no, no debate. debate, no, but no, no, debate. There's fish. no debate. No. Love birds. Love fish. Big fan. <laughs> oh, this fight. This fight used to be really slow on Croc, and now you just die on it. Yeah. Or it could be really slow on Croc, because there are just, just things here that just don't type to Croc. Yeah, because uh, we because people figured out that losing is faster sometimes. Sometimes being bad at video games is actually a good thing. Yeah. I, for some reason, have an obsession with dying strats, like suicide strats. Um, in XD, I routed in Zook Skip. And after that, I was like, oh, what else can we die to? So all the strats I've contributed to is like mainly involve just dying. <laughs> Morbid. Yeah. This does actually have a negative impact on what we on our experience because we don't get this e EXP. So if it does, if it does actually matter in the future, then uh, we're going to be struggling a little bit. So we are sacrificing EXP for the sake of time. Yeah. It's part of, it's part of not the entire reason, but it's part of the reason that we're, we are under leveled at the end. But the main reason that they're under level at the end is just because they decided to be like, hey, let's make this game hard. Yeah. Why? Drugs. Drugs. <laughs> they're just like, hmm, let's make this game a lot harder than literally every single other Pokemon game that's ever been released. They cooked with that. Honestly. And will ever be released. Yeah, true. Honestly, I thought Scarlet and Wireless was Scarlet and Wireless was probably like one of the hardest Pokemon games I've played in a while. It was hard if you play it unintentionally. Yeah, yeah, that's what I did. <laughs> it was a fun game, though. I have not enjoyed a Pokemon game as much I, I, since Scarlet and Violet came out. That's probably my favorite game since. Yeah, good game. Column. Honestly. <laughs> and we thought the speedrun was going to be really difficult for Scarlet and Violet until the game developed to be like, oh yeah, there's just so many EXP candies that we can just give to all of our Pokemon and just be like over level the entire time. And it's like, well, that goes, if, well, that goes the difficulty. <laughs> Have you tried losing more fights? Uh, we've <laughs> checked all the fights that we can lose. There's only five we can lose. There's only actually five we can lose. Actually, there's six we can lose. That's sad. Yeah. Only, but two of them are actually slower to lose. The first one being Rival 1, which uh, is very slow to lose, no matter what, because, again, you have starter advantage because, you know, later gen rivals is that. And the second fight that we could arguably lose to is actually Arvin, but it has very special AI where it, if it kills you, it will not go for the kill move. No. Unless you waste all 20 PP of Tail Whip. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> oh yeah, one one quick thing. Uh, this next fight that I'm just going to skip with Plazzle, uh is very annoying in any percent. It's... Yeah. Uh, one of the most like infamous places where people just die because there's a Grand Bull in this fight. And it's, uh, first of all, it's a range with Psychic. And uh, if you don't Psychic it, you have to Fire Blast it. And if you Fire Blast it, well, you could miss. And like, we all know that's everyone's favorite part of this game. So missing is cool, etc., etc. 
Yeah, so Das just picked up uh, an item called the DNA sample. Ava's picked them up too. Um, there's three hidden around the base. It's, it's basically used as a puzzle. It'll tell you the code for a lock coming up ahead. You want to get at least two beforehand. Um, we have a machine that'll tell you what the sample of it is, and then that'll be pertaining to a particular Pokemon, and then you put that into the pin pad. Um, the code requires three. We only get two. It's just faster to guess the third. You could get the third, but then it'd be slower. I mean, you could also just don't get any of them. Just guess it right first try. You you can. I've seen one person do it. That's like, so silly. <laughs> they got the samples, didn't check them, went there and was like, oh, okay, well, I guess I'm just going to... Yolo right. it. And then they got it after, I think, like six, five or six. I can't wait for that. Wait, that, sounds for like that, that sounds like photo. It wasn't. It was an old runner. <laughs> can't wait for the optimization of this game to be to the point where you just don't get any DNA samples. Yeah, um, I think you can do up to 21, skip all the samples, and 21 is the break-even point. Um, in terms of how many combos there are, it is nine times eight well, times seven. A lot. Yeah, but wait, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Uh, that is... All right, I can actually do the math. It is too early for me to care to want to do the math. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I put Umbreon in slot one, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I did. You could always check. So here's where you check the sample. First one. It could be one of nine. Crocona, all right, a bad sample. 504. Yeah. Croc, I got Croc right in practice. I trust oh, you. Croc Quill. Croc Quill. Croc Quill. All right, you got to, one good, one bad. Let's try the rainbow. Croc Quill okay. Bay. Bayleaf? Yeah. Someone can donate if I'm right or wrong. <laughs> if I'm right, donate five dollars. If you're wrong, donate fi uh, five hundred. If okay. there's any messages that you'd like to read, you can go on ahead. We still have some dying to do. <laughs> yep. Well, I can remind you what I can remind all of the viewers um, what our Alzheimer Fund is all about. So, Alzheimer Forum is the national Swedish fundraising organization focusing on Alzheimer disease and other dementia-related diseases. Uh, its aim and purpose is to increase fundraising to the benefit of scientific research in order to find a cure for Alzheimer's disease. Uh, yearly, Alzheimer Forum's Science Council and Board of the Directions grant si scientists, researchers, and projects around three million dollars. With your help, even more projects can be founded. So. You, you better be wrong, and, uh, and <laughs> I, I'm waiting for these five hundred dollars and dollars. Punch. Thank you. Yep. Punch, punch, punch. Miss, 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 miss. Oh. So okay. we're back to fights that we have to win. Yeah. Uh, speaking of fights you have to win, I want to actually mention this. Did you know that Scott and Violet's the only game that actually has a fight that it is impossible to lose? And what I mean by impossible, I mean the game, if you take too long in how many turns you do that fight, the game will literally say, you know what, I'm taking the wheel. You're not, you're not having, you're not having any control anymore. <laughs> this is why Which I get, uh, is it is the Coridon versus Coridon, Miridon versus Miridon fight. That fight is scripted that you can never lose, wow. no matter how hard you try. So this is, uh... This is the reason I get the full restore. Uh, this 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 fight, just just this fight, is the reason I get the full restore, uh, because uh, it makes it uh, so much easier to just adapt. Yeah. Then you can just do this. And you're back to fine. This Ampharos is an annoying range every game, or every not a plus one category. Yeah, at plus one, <laughs> at plus zero, it's yeah, plus zero, it's an annoying range. Yeah. yeah. A plus, uh, a plus one, it's fine. Uh, a Remel, the next fight coming up, it's so annoying in any percent if you have like weird speeds, but here it's like whatever. So the next fight you can actually lose and continue is just kind of awkward to get your Pokemon low enough to die. Yeah. Um, and it's definitely slower for you to weaken your own Pokemon. You also got to walk all the way back. Uh, yeah. Take that into consideration as well. This this is a three turn fight usually. Unless you get this lead, then it's a four-turn fight, I think. No, this is a three-turn fight. Let's see what samples Das gets. I'm feeling like a pseudo miss, uh, pseudo miss mistress. Raikou. 
Oh, cool off. Maybe croc and then they oh, go that would the be same. funny. Oh, wait. Yes, that is the correct strategy. Okay. Hey! Just one. So yeah, there are so many, so much text reading the notes of this that like it's very easy to jump to one of the other like parts of the flowchart. Like basically, the notes for this game are written out like a flowchart. It's very convenient, but yeah. <laughs> Sometimes it's easy to not do it, to read something or read ahead, and when you were not supposed to, which can be quite bad. I do that a lot on menus, not on fights, thankfully. So this Keklan here is actually um, we're gonna set it up so. It's uh, so well, I was going to set it up, but then I uh, missed my input. But if I was, if I hadn't, I was going to explain. If I hadn't missed my input here, I would have set this up so that I can just hit it uh, with Espeon here, or, or hit it with um, Umbreon for super effective damage. But yeah, I missed my input, so that's not gonna happen. But it's still fine. It's still wait, fine. rain down. That wasn't supposed to happen. So I need to heal now to be safe. Hmm. So Kecleon just gets two extra turns. Well, this is scary. Rain with thunder. We're fine. We outsped. Uh. Uh, because I have twenty-six IVs on Espeon, I speed tied Electro the first turn. He got the turn before Espeon, and the second turn I got the turn. These yeah. guys are fun. It's a coin flip. Whether you go first or second. Yeah, before the lab, uh, before like the death strats that we use now with Plusle, lab was a little more difficult when you had to get torn in. Yeah. A lot more risky. Now it's fine. Exleon has used a lot of strength. <laughs> yeah, because again, I uh, I inputted the wrong thing. So, but it's fine. It's fine. Uh, it's back to being a normal type now, because I secret powered it, so... Oh, nice. Just dies. Yeah, my healing items are fine I now. I looked at the wrong electrode. Oh, I did. Did uh, electrode outspeed you? No, because oh. I have 126 max damage for thunder, I have 122 HP, and it went for ring downs, which is weird. So, uh... Yeah, uh... Quell, uh, oh, Croc never speaker. mind. I did look oh, at the wrong first electrode. Try. First try. Yeah, I did so look free. at the wrong electrode. <laughs> I, I swear I never get first try, but I guess today today I do. So, oh, Umbreon's going to do something in this fight. We're, we're going to X special Umbreon. Rare. Oh, right, right. Very rare. Also, you're going to see the Umbreon cook for once. Yeah. You're actually going to see let him cook like for once. Oh yeah, you can definitely see now the EXP in like full force. EXP share in full force here. Espeon, is, because of the Espeon stealing, Espeon is now four, uh, 48 going to 30, 49, and Umbreon is like going to 39. So back to the EXP share, Espeon's like 10 levels above Umbreon. Yeah. Umbreon actually started with more XP. One yeah, more with than 27 Espeon. and Umbreon was 27 and Espeon, no, Umbreon, no, they're both. No, Umbreon's 27 and Espeon's 26, right? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, the intro, I mean, the intro, Umbreon is arguably meant to be the main Pokemon, but obviously, uh, we're speedruns, we don't care about more. Yeah. <laughs> Why would we? So, this, uh, this, uh, Wobbuffet here is just gonna use Mirror Code into Umbreon, which is, you know, a fun AI quirk. If it used Mirror Code into Espeon, it would be problematic, <laughs> but it doesn't, so. So we're actually going to see Umbreon two hit KO this um, this wall of right here. Oh uh, come on! And he can even flinch, which would be funny. Oh, sad. Ooh. So I'm actually full health here, which is really nice. You don't need, you don't even need to heal. Yep. Next fight, we'll be fighting uh, Ein. The, the what do you call him? The boss of the area? Yeah, the boss. Yeah. Uh, Called uh, Ein. It's uh, still a little Einstein. I don't know. It's not even a pun. It's just like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> His name after Einstein. That is that is all there is to it. Oh yeah, this is Scrub again, by the way. Uh, the guy before it in uh, the Relic Forest. 
A lot of these trainers are just like, yeah. I guess recurring characters are, I don't know. But uh, yeah, Scrub, Scrub's like, I'm happy that they let Scrub cook twice, you know? I mean, even three if times. If he Das is guessing the code. There we go. Okay. Yeah. Got it after a couple of tries. So if you get two, the max that you have to try is seven different ones. Still ends up being faster than finding the third one. Yeah. Huntail Golbat. Club Graveler. Huntail Golbat. Taunt Huntail. Psychic Golbat. Yeah, Ayn has five Pokemon. No, six. Five. Five. <laughs> And it can be two of uh, two Pokemon of the first four, so a lot of combos. Yep. Oh, this fight is so much nicer than in percent though. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. In any percent, like your speed matters. Are you in Blaze? It also like matters. Can you tank a fly? Like, are you are you dead to a fly? Are you dead to a pursuit times two? So, Altaria here will actually use pursuit. On Espeon. Yep, but it's um, not going to use Pursuit because it's just going to die at this is a range. Because it's trying to cheat, assuming that you'll switch out, nice. and it'll see, oh, well, if it switches out, that'll be my most damaging move. But if you don't have a, a second Pokemon, it actually won't use it, and it'll use Toxic, which is really slow to synchronize. Yep. And the Suntel is going to bite, and it's going to do very little damage. So I am surfing on this Wobbuffet. And it will mirror code and very likely kill for alligator. This is planned because after reviving for alligator is exactly at the HP I needed, not for Ein, but the fight right after Ein. So yeah, I'm, I'm pretty much just finishing up Ein at this point. Uh, uh, just gonna bite this lantern and psychic this Raikou, and uh, it's pretty much free from there because uh, this lantern is now taunted, so it can't rain dance. And then I'll just bite it, then I just Psychic Raikou, and that should be it. It's yes, the first time I see these, uh, or this Croconaw Death Strat. Oh, the... To revive it into half HP. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Smart. <laughs> yeah, it's neat. So, hopefully a flinch here. Wow, that's damage. I know, right? Yeah, as you can see, so Umbreon is so good. <laughs> I'm on it. Actually, carrot. I've, 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 flinched, I've flinched like everything in this run. Uh, this Umbreon is here to say, I, 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 I'm, I, I can help. I can be good. I, you should use me in any percent. I swear, I swear, I have like double-digit flinches. It's, uh, I've never seen this. <laughs> That's crazy. It is thirty percent. Thirty. Uh, yeah, it's thirty percent. It's thirty percent, but like thirty percent to flinch every I, single time it uses. It's the same thing as Rock Slide. But I've had an unreasonable amount still. Like, definitely unreasonable. So, gonna pick up the, um, the data ROM here, which is like the final story item we pick up. And uh, gonna skip Earthquake. Yeah, we're about to reach the basically the last area of the game. Yeah. It's a long area, but the end. You don't have to listen to this alarm, Bla Gla uh, Blair? Is that what word? Blaring? Blaring. Yeah, you don't have to listen to this alarm blaring anymore. Cool English. I mean, in Norwegian, we would just say that it's screaming. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm heading out of lab and I'm about to head to the final area of the game after doing some little story shenanigans. You got mail. Whoa, and we're gonna ignore it. I think at this point we're about an hour from the end. Tass, I think, is done by now. Yeah. That just sounds great. Am I full HP? Good question. I think I am, but I'm just gonna take the healing machine. It's like four seconds time loss, maybe. Not even that, because I have to menu if I don't. So. Yeah, I the the land the gold bat is very annoying in the iron fight. It loves confuse ray, and sometimes it's just optimal to let him use it. It doesn't do any damage, and you just have to heal it off. I was worried about this lantern because it is a range to plus one psychic, but it died. If it lives, Croc dies because it keeps thunder. I'm actually gonna safety shop here. Not that I'm actually very scared, but like, just from my experiences yesterday, I'm like kind of scared. Using full heals as their intended use instead of setting up for a glitch. Yep. 
Wow. And now I can actually kill the Golbat because the Altari isn't threatening whatsoever. Usually, I would say like I'm very much fine on items here normally, but like there's no reason for me to risk anything at all at this point. So, so yeah, we're gonna get the data ROM to Nat, and he's gonna try to basically decrypt or decrypt this uh, data ROM. It's been completely wiped, but he's still trying to get some material from it. It's basically on the plan of the like why they're making the Shadow Pokemon, I believe, or how they're doing it. So that's pretty much like. Uh, what he's doing with that data ROM right there that we grabbed from Ayn, because Ayn's like the mastermind behind the Shadow Pokemon plan. Um, so, yeah. Gonna yep. Head back over. And so this is the last chance you have, too, if you wanted to get healing items for the rest of the run. Yep. But I think you're good. Yeah, I'm super good now. I, I bought some extra safety ones, so. Very much okay here. Uh, I, I probably, I didn't even need the extra safety ones. Done. I could have even gotten an herb, uh, like a revival herb. At the shop over to the left there, but nah, we're good. We're cooking. So the runners are about separated by one fight right now. Um, Ava's final fight is a long one, though. Yeah, but it's not. It depends, uh, but yeah, it's uh, it's kind of bad. It's really bad. <laughs> <laughs> it is. It is the entire run that fight. Yeah, it, that's. It's the big bottleneck of the run, but generally, like, this has been a good run so far. I cannot complain, and I will, I will not complain, uh, because it's generally been going pretty smooth. The only big, like, mess-ups have just been on my end, and then, like, like a couple of minor things, but generally, it's been, it's been going great. So, so Mirror B, B coming up here, the Merry Man. So, we're gonna refight all the bosses here. Yep. Except Amiribi loses his theme. Sad. He gets the normal Cypher Admin theme here. Yeah, of course also. He, he got in trouble. Yeah, 07 to the best theme, to the second best theme in the game. Gold Luck Ludico. Uh, is it 45? Right. Second best. It Wait. is 45. Yeah, yeah. It's a gym, so. so, yeah, this is, this is a fast fight. Yeah, the order that you fight these admin can be different. Are you fighting... The Kim first. The Kim first. So, we'll so, see two different orders. So, yeah. You have to fight all four of the uh, Cypher bosses. Yes. But you can choose which order you do it in. So depending on what your Pokemon is and what your strats are, you do them in any order you like. In any order you like. Precursor to what Scarlet and Violet is in general. Uh, I guess what what order the Cyndaquil does like in very quickly. Usually decking first. So always the Kim first. You need the levels for Mirror V. Uh, I guess Mirabi is like one of the hardest ones to do. No, you just need a level to make sure you get the ring. Ah, okay. Yeah. yeah, it's just it just doesn't line up uh, experience-wise. But even in any percent, Akeem is like scary if you get like a Claydol flag on lead. I don't know. I'm not sure if that's the same for. No, that's Ron. the elite for me. Yeah, it's no. very bad in normal any percent. Claydol flag on, yes, please. They both kill Solar Beam. It's great. Yeah, Claydol Flygon is the lead that has killed a lot of world records. Yep. Um, although if you get the range runs. and your record pace, then it's good. True. Or you can just get le level 49 range, which is even worse. Yeah. Shun did that in his PB. Don't like this. Vaulted did in his world record. Yeah. Actually, that is actually a little known thing. Isn't it? one of the main reasons why we actually don't want to KO Shadow Pokemon, uh, at I least the Shadow Pokemon that. from the uh, bosses, is if you have a look at the levels between the Pokemon used by the main team and the Pokemon used by the Shadow Pokemon, you realize that it's actually s significantly lower. That's because it's the exact same Shadow Pokemon from before but they're still u that they're still using. If you did catch the Shadow Pokemon, they would actually have another Pokemon to replace that Pokemon, I believe which is much higher level and is something that we probably don't want to deal with at any point. And I believe only like all snags and a hundred. Actually, would all snags catch them now? Or? Mm, they would catch them with the Master Ball. Yeah, but we'll catch it now, right? Or uh... later. What? You would catch Entei? I might be, I might be, I might be spitballing you. you. No, you might catch everyone except Entei on under. Yeah, that's right. It's Entei would catch now. Entei, you'd catch now. 
This is very annoying. Uh, basically, I my, the damage got split here, and I need both Pokemon to have full HP for the team, so I'm basically gonna waste the healing item. Um, but I do have supers left, I believe, so it's not too big of a deal. So you would actually catch Entei here, because that game's team in the end game will use Earthquake, and since Entei is level 40, it will not survive an Earthquake. So you do not want it to die post-game. Uh-oh, I should have. I wasted a super, but it's fine. Alright, we'll see if you see Claydol fly gone. Or Clay. I, I can Claydol. take any. No, we Please. want Fortress Wish Cash. <laughs> no. We do not want Claydol fly Claydol gone. Wish Cash. Absolutely not. Claydol and something else. Isn't? Oh, what is the most common lead again? It's not Claydol, Claydol fly gone. No, it's not the most common. There's one other lead that's it's, more common. It, I think it's tied for most common with. Uh, I swear the Roth thing, or was it Roth that did the thing and counted in every single run currently on the leaderboards and like the most the common one was something that's not Claydol Flygon because I thought I think it's Claydol Wish Cash. It's tied. Yeah, with. that's that's the one. Yeah. yeah, but it was a small sample size. They were very yeah, similar. Yeah, yeah, obviously. Yeah, I mean you can't get a good one. Fortress Flygon is fine. Uh, so. So the whole idea of me having my Frolic at a half HP, it's more or less the perfect threshold that it doesn't die to Earthquake, but it does die to Solar Beam. So, and this the team has very smart AI, including kill AI. The thing is, it sees a kill with Solar Beam, but it doesn't see that Solar Beam takes two turns, and we have Protect, so it makes the fight very free. Yeah, otherwise here, it's kind of, we have nothing good to kill Blade All with. Yeah. Get HP Fire and Bite, uh, that does like 10%. Yeah, but you kind of got, just got a lot of Umbreon Cook. I didn't get the range, I hate this fortress. Oh. Well, that mess... Oh, yeah, that will mess with... Um, I heal, I, I have backups for this because I've had this fortress survive way too often. Oh, we're gonna tank a. Solar yeah, beam. we'll tank the solar beam. Oh yeah, I just realized there's a relic in these notes. Oh. Yeah, you don't have uh, snatch at this point because you teach uh, protector with them. Ah. That's thing to clean. That's the thing to clean up, I guess. <laughs> Won't be by me. I'm too lazy. I'm pretty sure it's, this is not you. <laughs> that's what I like to hear. Not my problem. True. Oh, that's not good. Oh. 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 Uh, it's fine. You go. Yeah, the good thing about catching Metatite is you have another extra Pokemon. Yeah. You have two Pokemon versus, or two extra versus Ava has one extra. Or no, you have three extra versus Ava has one. Yeah, that's uh, sometimes really useful. Honestly, like it would have been really useful for me yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> it would have been real useful yesterday. No crit, nice. Yeah, having extra Pokemon is just more leeway, more chances to boost Espeon. But when you only have Puzzle, it becomes a lot harder. Yeah. And speaking of Puzzle, I think we're we're almost gonna switch it permanently to slot one. Yep. Uh, yeah. Okay. Usually, I'd have enough healing items that I could just heal after this fight, but I'm pretty sure, so I'm gonna take a small detour for a heal, and then I'll go and fight the fight to Mirror B. So from here on out, as Juan said, Puzzle actually does go just permanently to slot one. Uh, we're gonna do a couple of other more like fight skips that we've been doing earlier. So you'll see me go back into the PC that's coming up here, uh, deposit Espeon and Umbreon, and uh, just um, give Puzzle it's just, it's time to shine, etc. etc. So uh, gonna be doing that real quick. It's just like this this place takes a while to walk around. Like so many cutscenes. Yeah, all these like small cutscenes, and then there's loads, and yeah, it's it's just a lot. But yeah, we're gonna deposit Espion and Armion here. All right, about to fight Mirby. 
I'm gonna take a machine heal first and then I'll heal fight him. Because I am gotcha. short on Vipers. Oh, I didn't save. Wow, I can't believe it. Yeah, it would be really More bad. More cutscenes! Woo! Oh, I get to see this cutscene again. Oh, stop blocking. Uh, so yeah, this, if I forgot to save here, that would have been really bad. It would have been extremely slow. Yeah, you would spawn it back at the Shadow Lab where we were spawning before. Yeah, which would have been pretty bad. <laughs> I, it wouldn't be the worst, I guess. Yeah. Uh, because it's kind of easy to get here. If we were further into the room, it would be kind of bad. But just here is fine. It's like two. It's just two doors to get to where the room we are in. So. But if you're at like Ein, it takes two years to walk back. Yeah. Oh no. So yeah, the Sunflora is not on this fight, but the Sunflora we talked about earlier is coming up in the next fight. Did you get a bad lead? Oh, double Ludicolo, Ludi. Ludicolo, I'm getting rain. Yeah. Yeah, same AI. No rain, it'll use the rain. If it can't kill. Fortunately, double Ludicolo is bad for like every combo or every yeah. every starter. Yeah. Uh, double Ludicolo means you're going to get rain. There's nothing you can do about it because you can only kill one Ludicolo at a time. Yeah, and, he, and Umbriana's not fast enough to taunt it. I'm pretty sure. So. Yeah. So let's go, Bustle. Woo! When did you become level 14? Let's go. Oh, yeah. I just cooked. It should be gaining a lot of levels. <laughs> Yeah, we needed to get to level 76. I don't remember. And I needed to have like 17 defense or something. So it doesn't die to one fake out. This is a pretty fast Ludicolo. Don't crit me. Thank you. Ooh. I think you're fine here. No, nothing else targets for Alligator other than the Ludicolo, so it's still yeah. fine. Oh yeah, here's the Sunflora, by the way. Uh, it's gonna use Solar Beam. And waste my time. <laughs> because it always does. Because It does the most damage. It goes funny mode. Oh yeah, Oh no, right. uh, it's slow. Yes, it's sir. good. Slow Sunflora. Nice, optimal, not time waste. Oh. So uh, now we're just gonna go Grab Espinon and Umbrum back. This is the last time we do that. We lose on purpose uh, in this round. Oops, what am I doing? <laughs> and, but actually, Puzzle. Puzzle is going to stay in slot one and it will for the rest of the run. Uh, which is uh, definitely a pretty interesting strat, but like it makes things so much easier. You've already seen a little bit of it, how Puzzle shifted AI. Well, it's going to keep doing that for a lot of fights here. And I need to make sure to teach. Uh, uh, the two remaining protects here, so I'm gonna do that real quick. It's to Espeon and Puzzle, so it's uh, protecting for Growl here. Growl's no longer useful, although it has actually been super useful throughout the run, so like, shout out to Growl. And then we're gonna teach Protect to Espeon, and Psybeam unfortunately has to leave. And uh, yeah, so now we have Protect an Ultra Rare Pokemon. And you can already see how this pretty much seems like almost like competitive Pokemon. We're teaching Protect to everything, and uh, it's just incredibly convenient. And like you, without Protect, everything would be so much slower. So, this is yeah. the VGC of video of Pokemon Speed Run. Oh yeah, for sure. We love we love using Protect. And we love using pseudo follow me strategies. Yeah. Yeah, you like say it, pseudo follow me because a normal human would not be like tempted just to go for like the puzzle because we know because puzzle just not going to do anything. Right. But AI, at least in this game, not so not so small. It sees a kill, it goes for the kill. Right. Yeah. It also sees that it does a lot of damage to puzzle over, over everything else, so things will always go to puzzle. I think the game, like the devs knew that, and that's why they made it really low level. Otherwise, it'd be really hard to level up this puzzle. Yeah. Yeah, that that would make sense. <laughs> I, I I haven't even considered that, but yeah, sure, that does make sense. <laughs> but yeah, puzzle is just gonna die here after leveling up. Oh, uh, well, this puzzle is tanky. Uh, that's good. It does 19 defense at level 15. Right. Also, this puzzle can have random stats. Yes. Okay. Always. So it's not like normal gift Pokemon where it has no. stats. Okay. Yeah. It's actually relevant, which is what I've been talking about. But this plus plus is 19 defense, which is more than I need at the next level, so we're good. So this fight is scary for Brock. 
Oh. I mean, I guess, I mean, grass types are kind of scary. Because I guess you don't lose this fight instead because you need the experience? Uh, yes. And also, it's not really worth it because Croc can actually kill stuff while Umbreon oh. can't. Yes. That's the main issue Umbreon has. Yeah, Umbreon can't kill anything at this point. Yeah. It doesn't kill anything more from here, I believe. Yeah, I, don't even, I don't even think I can two-shot anything. No. I'd be surprised if they can three-shot something. Perhaps. This is too low. So we're so hoping for flinch here. Flinch here is really, really good. If your slash uh, roll is high enough, you can go for Hyper Beam on turn two. This doesn't look like it, so I'm just gonna protect the Solar Beam and I'll kill the Sunflora with Espeon. Yeah, it's the safe strat. Usually, if you crit or if the Sunflora has very bad defense, you can go for a Hyper Beam, but that's RNG. Has everything else in this run. Hopefully no poison. Alright, so Venus is where I am going to set up Torrent for the next couple of fights. And you have two options for setting up Torrent. You have a Raichu and you have a Blossom. Both of them hit Gravitator for weakness and hopefully don't kill it. Um, in my case, I checked the sheet and uh, with my special attack and HP this Raichu will not kill me so Raichu is actually the ideal Pokemon for me to go to because my croc, my Feraligator is male and her Blossom is female so it will use Attract while the Raichu is male. It also depends on the leads. Because she led Blossom it's actually better for me to go for Blossom um, Torrent so that's what I'm gonna go for. It it uh, involves just a lot more HP manipulation. She will do attract turn one, and after that, it will start trying to kill for alligator. But unless she crits, you really can't do it. So I am going to use a couple of potions, make sure for alligator doesn't die, and then make sure he gets knocked into torrent, and then I'm gonna end the fight. Um, this allows me to just set up Espeon 2 plus 2 and kill everything else. It makes the fight very safe and also very consistent. Yep. So I'm gonna take on the final part of this gauntlet of the admins right now, uh, which is Ayn. Uh, so basically, as we've been going through right now, we're rebattling all of the admins and we leave Ayn for last. I think every route leaves Ayn for last? No. No, Bailey. Don't rush it. Yeah, oh. Bayleaf goes for it first. Yeah. So, to get the Master Ball, actually, is it's triggered after you beat Ayn here. You'll get an email from Egan with the Pikachu. said, hey, come quickly. Um, and then he actually gives you the Master Ball. So, what you yeah. do is you fight this, you fight Ayn, go back at the Master Ball, and then when you have Bayleaf, you'll use it with the Master Ball dupe, um, glitch, and catch things like Suicune, Entei. Maybe not Suicune, but uh, all the shadows, basically. Yeah. Since at this point, Bayleaf, similar to Umbreon, can't do much. Oh. And this fight's really good. Rai Rhydon has Dig. Uh, Dig does a lot to bustle. Yep. Which is good, because uh, then we can just protect uh, every and other turn. 0%. Exactly. The 0%. <laughs> so hopefully not Starmie here. Hopefully we see Pelipper. So, Bird. Dasper, you picked up Earthquake, right? Yeah, no. I'm gonna use it. And have you taught it yet? No, that's only after Gonzap. Right before yep. we can't use TMs anymore. Right. And we, we don't teach Earthquake sooner because this Rhydon won't dig if it, if you teach Earthquake to any of your Pokemon. Yep. Even if it's not out in the field. It's silly. It's very, very silly. AI cheating. Yep. Okay, I use the potion because the maximum roll for this Giga Drain is 74 HP, so hopefully I'll be stun score. That's interesting. I think this puzzle might be like close to max defense. <laughs> <laughs> Which doesn't really matter, but it's funny. Puzzle's dying. There, there is some order where this puzzle can live the entire fight. It's, it's a little faster. It's that way you don't have to revive it. Yeah. But. Uh, no, it's it's not faster. There we uh, go. Do you want it dead for the next fight? No, no, no. I don't want it dead for. Oh uh, yeah, if if I get Pelip if I get Pelip Pelip before right. Starmie, uh, it's faster to let it live. But right, right, If right. I get Starmie first, it's, it's faster to let it die. Right, right. 
We're gonna, but we're gonna have to revive Puzzle for the next fight. Yeah. And don't give them power the Blossom. There we go. Yeah, if you're really lucky, Puzzle can live from here all the way till Gon's have. Yeah. And thank goodness no one, no Pokemon in this game has the ability Unseen Fist. What does that do? Uh, all physical moves, at least uh, all contact moves, uh, bypass protect. Oh, it's fun. Curious. That's why Urshifu's broken. Yeah, sounds like Oh, Rock Slide, that's not a move you see very often. Yeah, usually you see Digger Toxic. Yeah. Almost always. It's weird AI stuff. It's actually really annoying. <laughs> oh. oh and Frick you. <laughs> Stalls. What a silly Billy. Yeah, BGC plays. Wait, I'm not supposed to Uses the that. Use the move that takes the longest amount of time. And <laughs> does this to me. Actually, maybe Toxic would synchronize this longer animation. But. Now you have one less Psychic. I don't know if that's relevant. Uh, I... I'm pretty sure I'm fine. <laughs> okay. Like, that is an interesting question. How is like PP management throughout the entire run? Is that really important? In some yes. Of yes. It used to be even more important um, when you didn't have to die to all those fights. But since we died to all those fights, our PP gets reset every time. Yeah. Um, it doesn't matter, by the way. I, I Elixir here. I forgot. <laughs> yeah. But if not, you'll run out of moves for sure. So yeah. we, we do use Elixirs here. It's very important with in any percent with Fire Blast. Yeah, because I think that move only had like 5 PP. Right. I do ether surf at the end of Mount Battle. I th I already ethered Psychic a couple of times, and I'm going to Elixir Psychic after rain. Yep. So just gonna uh, put in these that I've gotten from every single one of the villains I've fought so far, or the admins, whatever you want to call it. And that's gonna allow me to open this door, which will mean an immediate trainer fight, but this trainer fight is very, very easy. Uh, you can't really mess it up. Yeah, I, this... say, I say I messed it up yesterday. Yeah, this is another trainer. This is the last trainer that's an optional. Where you can't lose to it and continue. Yeah, it is just yeah. slow, slow, slow to set up. Yeah, I was wondering what you meant with optional there, but yeah, no, yeah, like optional in that way. Yeah. Not your classical uh, Pokemon optionals, but more in the way that like, you, you can lose to this. Yeah. I mean, there's definitely a lot of trainers that if you if you talk to any trainer, it, they'll probably fight you. Yeah. Nice and I've had so many hundo runs because you are in Agat a lot, and there's an old man right outside the mall, right up the shop. So sometimes I get sent in there. And if you talk to the man, he will fight you when you have a bunch of random shadows in your party. It's not fun. <laughs> yep, always. Let's get the double protect here. Yeah, there's nothing better than just going for double protect and hoping you get it. Oh. Aww. Uh, it's fine. It's really fast if you get it, though. Yeah, I skip a menu. But I actually I don't even get to skip a menu, kind of. You still kind of have to do the menu. Oh, Twenty three at eighteen. That's so. Well, much. now we have to switch. We have to swap out Umbreon. Yeah, yeah. It's it's kind of slow. I believe double protect is only a 50 50 chance to happen. Yep. Correct. For this fight, I do want my Feraligatr to be very low on HP because one, it will trigger Dig because. This ride on things to kill, but the most important thing is triggering this Crobat's fly. Because if it's not using fly, it's using protect, and it's really obnoxious. Yes. Yeah. Anything using protect is obnoxious. Just ask uh, any Let's Go Rogan in Koga's gym. <laughs> so, because that happened, I'm gonna need to do this. So, so. actually, also, we'll need to heal Plusle. With yeah. full HP. Yeah, this next fight is actually the longest fight, even in Tass. It is four turns in Tass. Yeah, this is this fight is why uh, uh, this fight is uh, why I've been talking about Plusle's defense. Because <laughs> so, surprisingly, it matters on this fight. Yeah, the premise of 
quest here is uh, Fake Out Spam. Which is a haha funny gimmick. You can actually get an extra X defend here for super safety if your plus was really, really weak, but I didn't send. I got rewarded for that, so. So, yeah, it's a fake out plus three priority. It out prioritizes so many other moves in the entire game. And it always flinches when it uses. The only downside is you can only use it on the first turn when you sent out. Yep. Yep. Yeah, otherwise, the move will fail. And three of his Pokemon have fake outs. So we let Puzzle flinch the first turn. So turn two, we protect. And then Ariama also goes for a fake out, but also sees the kills on Puzzle, so he goes for the priority kill. Yep. As we just say goodbye to the Pokemon that essentially created Nuzlocke. <laughs> yep. True. I mean, that is what it's named after. <laughs> that is indeed what it's named after. Say I'm just gonna heal up Puzzle again and just take out this Hariyama and gonna tank another take out from this Lombre. Um, so. Thankfully, all these Pokemon are either not that strong or just weak to Psychic. And thankfully, they don't target Espeon. <laughs> yeah. Most of all. Because we have Puzzle. Yep. Which is very, very convenient. Puzzle bring. Don't! Oh. It's probably fine. I'm pretty sure I don't need to yeah. heal Puzzle here because it accomplishes literally the same thing, so I can just do this. Yeah, there's no reason to heal Puzzle. Puzzle will again die in the next fight, yep. as it does a lot. And hopefully, good combo. Ariama Crawdont, I think, is still the worst one you can get on No Snacks as well. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna check, actually. Uh. Yeah, Hariyama Crawdon is still the worst combo you can get. No, it's the worst combo in 90% as well. It's the worst combo in 90% because you don't... So here's Silva again. Oh yeah, true. He escaped after getting captured and now he became a, a spy. Yeah. Or a Psychic. secret agent. And we're about to see, see Gonzap for the second time and final time in this run. We see him at the start, and we see him all the way here with us at the end. Yep. Also, this has been a pretty good run so far, I would say. Uh, just looking at the timer. Yeah. Uh, good for both. Yep. I do I make the same joke three times in a row? Yes, do it. Uh, Riku, your, run, your Kingdom Hearts run is in 30 minutes, okay? <laughs> <laughs> been waiting. Been waiting all day. So we're gonna take these stairs, and oh, nothing here. Guess we gotta take the next set of elevators, whatever. Oh, no good. And da -da -da -da. here he is, Gonzap. And he looks as fabulous as ever. His his model is so much better in this game than his XD. His XD <laughs> model is like so silly. Yeah. <laughs> Very over the top. Yeah, he's over the top in this game as well, but like his XD model is just like very, very cartoon. I think I prefer the XD one. Really? Yeah. Huh. No, I, I definitely don't. <laughs> <laughs> I definitely prefer this one. I, I think they're both... I mean, I, I don't think the XD one is bad. Pinsir Hariyama. This combo looks fine. Yeah. 16. Hariyama looks 16. Not gonna risk it. So Plusle here actually protecting um, is to bait Big or Earthquake. Yeah. Because there is a. What's its name? Crawdont? Crawdont. Yeah. That is dark and water, and we have Psychic and Fire moves. Yep. Not exactly great. Yeah. We've fortunately got a bad switch order. Or, it's not like there's going to be uh, another Pokemon. It doesn't matter. It's much. always Pinsir, I think. No, it's always it's Victory. I mean, there's probably not going to be another Pokemon later. But it's going to do it again. Also, uh, can't be hit super effectively by Neva Psychic or Fire. Nah, that's not another Pokemon. No. 
but it's gonna earthquake again here. Um, so if we get crawl on next. Yeah. I think that's always the order. So. If the calculations come out that way, I haven't done it for this fight. What did you say? If the calculations come out like that. Yeah. All right. So here's a water dog type. Uh, we don't like them because, at least in like the Umbreon route, the no snags route, we can't just hit. We we there's, we have nothing, right? Our coverage is psychic and fire, and we have nothing. We're actually gonna make a. What's oh. the, what's the current Pokemon? Uh, the. The pincer do actually most of the work for us in taking down the Crawdon. Because uh, it likes using Earthquake because of a Plusel, and uh, it unknowingly is damaging the Crawdon that actually helps us. So that that Earthquake did too much damage. It's a range to kill. Uh, so I'm gonna play safe. Yeah. Ooh, oh, that's right. Pincer does go for that. I think this one shots. Uh, does that matter? Ever? I think you still win. Yeah. You should still. Uh, Cause uh, I just do this. Yeah, basically you just need to survive an earthquake plus uh, steel wind. Ooh. Oh, that's bad. Why did that just? Oh, do you need a boost? Ooh. Oh yeah. Cut. But this is this is fine. This is fine. Yeah, with cut and sludge bomb, you're fine. Uh. Ooh, wow. Ooh, that is not fine. Oh. Okay, and just like that, we're tied. Yeah, I'm back at the PC. That is not. That's very bad. Oh god. Yeah, that was two unfortunate crits. Yeah, very very unfortunate. Or a crit and a very bad high roll. Yeah. Oh well. Oh well. And now you have to essentially do a whole walk of shame just to get all yeah. the way back. Yeah, I think we're still fine on heals. Yeah, yeah. I just wasted one healing item. Okay. We're good. I've never died to Gonzap. <laughs> yeah, that's not a fight. Uh, it's a rare fight to die. I don't know. I respect Gonzap a lot when I'm doing no snags. Fair. It's the one and then Gonzap. Yeah. <laughs> the one. Really that is, is, the that one. is super unfortunate. For me. <laughs> I mean, I still think this place is fine, but I lost like five minutes there. Yeah, oh. it's unfortunate. Everything else was going great. Yeah. I'm not going to complain. Even with that, I'm not going to complain. It would be great if we figured out you could lose the concept and just continue. But we're just Imagine. Yeah, I know. <laughs> concept talks so much. Yeah. Like, way too much. I'm still kind of ahead, but... You are, like, like, very little, but it depends on how the fight goes. But, yeah, this is now, like, a tied-up match. Like, the loss... Free. That, that, that yeah. fight loss is actually... Insane. Yeah. And it might actually might be just pretty much be the deciding factor, but who knows? Yeah, probably. Uh, because my Evis is so much slower. It uh, is slower, but you have faster fights going up. Yeah, but... It is definitely going to come up to who has the cleaner fights. Yeah, true. And both still have to play perfectly. So. On the plus side, you get more experience. If it might matter, maybe. Uh, maybe not on Plus, but maybe on Espeon uh, it might matter. Oh, yeah. Oh. Uh, I, don't think I it's mean, it's not gonna. No, it's it will. Not gonna, it's not gonna earthquake. Psychic. No, it will. Uh, I'm still finding healing items here, actually. Five healing items. Yeah. Yeah, that's perfectly fine. Realistically, I only need to heal three more times from here. Yeah. I guess it wouldn't earthquake unless it was lower, because it definitely it won't. Kill yeah, from here. it doesn't kill from here, so yeah. it earthquakes. Oh, I'm learning encore now. Encore. It really is trying to be the Apache racer, isn't it? Encore strats shout out the XD Hundo. <laughs> Please, this time I remember the AI stuff, yeah. and since it's gonna kill Crawdon with another one, it will. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It will go for submission, and that's fine. And it also didn't do as much damage this time. It's actually like, I probably only even lost that because I went in with Umbreon damaged as well. Look. The mission does a lot. Yeah, it does. But still. I don't know if it would kill it. Here's with the boost. Yeah, 
Hey, this product is so annoying. HP fire. Yeah. There's not much you can do. Nope. You just kind of get loaded and tip it. Like, yeah. when your only options in the entire game, thanks to this limitation, is Espeon, Umbreon, and Glossal. <laughs> you, 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 you don't really have much uh, choice of leeway. Oh, of that's Ooh. fine. No, that's fine. Uh, I'm already, I already won by this point. Yeah. I only have Skarmory left. It's not really a threat. Glossal can learn Spark. Level 24, though. <laughs> Which you're close to, I think. Uh, what can I, I think I learned Spark at 24. Oh, really? Or what's that? No, it's all, it puzzles oh, already no, learned Spark. What is it learned at 24? Uh, something else. We're gonna something find else has to be probably not fast. useful. I don't remember. Oh, it's time to find out, I guess. You rarely see Puzzle reach 24. It does happen. <laughs> hmm. Defense boost. Don't see that. Do I have super potions left? No, I don't. Uh, I have two full restores. Not oh. gonna bother. I am. I'm debating a lot here. Hey, the double protect. Let's go, go. Puzzle. Woo. Let's go, Puzzle. Okay, cool. Um, only use one revive instead of two. Hey, you can always flame wheel this Skarmory. Wrong category. Yeah. Just flame wheel it. That's a different category, my friend. <laughs> Just flame wheel, etc. Puzzle, stop getting levels, come on. <laughs> We're basically tied now, which is fun. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah well, this is the last time I believe we have the, uh, the menu. Yep. After this, it is five, six. Five, six. Is it six? Is... It's six, right? Five. It is five. Yes. Not six. What am I yes. about? <laughs> okay, it's time. <laughs> Yeah, so you gotta do your last menu here. Yep. You for me, it was only Mine is slightly longer because I have the earthquake. Yep, it was only one thing for me. So. And fun fact, this was in a Coliseum the entire time. Yep. Yep. Whoa. And here we, we are. are. Participating in a Coliseum because, of course, we are. Almost that's like the, the name game. Of the, it's almost like it's the name of the game. Yeah. Yeah, there's a surprising lack of Coliseums in any percent considering the name of the game. You do two Coliseums. Yeah, but like it's called Pokemon Coliseum. <laughs> it's like Pokemon Stadium. You're you're in the stadium every for every battle. Yeah. <laughs> for the namesake of the game, it's not a huge theme in any percent. That is even not even at Hondo. Honestly, we don't do enough of it. <laughs> Goose melting. Right. Five fights left to go. Yeah, if you yeah. lose to any of these fights, you have to refight all of them again. Yeah, but these yeah. fights are hard to lose too. I say, as I'm probably going to lose. <laughs> there, is, well, there, there is a fight that you could almost certainly lose to. Yeah, Stun, I think, is really tough for Prog. I've seen runs die there. Because, remember, I said, mentioned this in the very beginning. This is the point where, this is not, not maybe not this point, but later on, this is the point where Espeon Umbreon just nose dives down from being, yeah, okay, good, decent run to, oh my god, this fight sucks. Yeah. Yeah, there are some like horrific fights here coming up. Yeah, uh, but also note that every single one of these trainers until the, the last one actually specializes in a type, which is, I believe, normal... Normal, dark, fire, and grass. grass. Yes. We can definitely tell which one for Alligator is going to have a nice time and which one's not. Yes. Yep. It's the, the, the section is so nice in 80% and it's so bad. Especially the dark trainer. Yeah. In Ava's case, Puzzle's already dead, so that's sometimes. Right, I'm gonna remind you this time. Uh, Psychic does not actually work on dark types. Whoa. Just, just an FYI. I wish I knew that earlier. <laughs> well, now you know. That. And now thanks to I AI, should, this Smilt Tank will just defense curl. Yeah. This this fight sucks. This fight sucks so much. Mean look. Cool. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm like so high on experience. That's gonna be weird. What? Oh, that's fine. Guard War. That's yeah, fine. Uh, where are you it's probably still targets. Uh, I can just check the defense anyways, right? And yeah. Like, it'll just target whatever has lowest defense. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the, the damage sheet is basically useless at this point. <laughs> yeah. I'll, I'll just, I'll, if, if it comes up, I will check. 
because like there's it loses me like what three seconds to go into the menu. Yeah. yeah. This fight is so bad. All right, so this is actually the one that Espeon fight shows the most because you know dark types. Then they're, they're not they're not great. Alligator is very useful on this fight. And on the next one as well. Uh, and yeah, I still believe that it's still dyna uh, random leads for all these trainers, or just uh, yeah, yeah randomly, randomly, including the shadow Pokemon can be spawned, or is the shadow Pokemon consistent? Nope, wrong. Shadow Pokemon is consistent. They lead Absol. The other two are random. Okay. The next fight with higher one, I think, is not random. Oh, okay. That one always leads Houndoom, Oracle. Nice. Idea. No, I mean, the lead for this fight doesn't matter. The strategy is exactly the same. Well, for Varadigator, yeah. For Espeon might be. For no, Rotary on also, your cry. Sharpedo, another water dark type. We don't like those. Nope, they're very silly and yeah. goofy. Though it's a glass no. cannon and dies to plus two hidden power, is that right? Yep. Correct. Yeah, that's like its only saving race. It was not like we are going to fight I a bulky this. Pokemon that resists both fire and, and like kick. No, we're not going to do that. Yeah, no. So weird muscle memory stuff is that like Espeon and Umbreon, as people can see, have swapped slots. So Espeon is currently in slot one, which is like kind of weird. Uh, so that's why you're seeing me doing a lot of weird menus, because I'm just like not thinking straight, because it's currently like, what, 6 a.m.? 6 a.m. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, you do like three hours of the run with... Espeon yeah. second, and all of a sudden Espeon's first. And it's then I have to get used to don't crit. muscle memory. Don't crit, don't crit, don't crit. Thank you. I, it wouldn't have mattered. That's like so suspicious. That, that's a scary turn. Yeah. Yeah, I should be fine on healing items. I have three more. We outspeed And two of them are full restores. Yeah, we do. So. Okay, good. Oh, perfect. Nice. This fight wasn't so bad after all. This fight can go worse. The next fight is like, whatever. So far, I am outspeeding everything that I really need to outspeed. So that's, yeah, that's good. good. That's why the fact that this croc knows the well, this for alligator is almost the slowest it could possibly be. I've ran with slower than I suffered. Yeah. What is your PB, by the way? I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> that's real hit my I got it. I got it. The day before I left TSA, and I don't remember what it is anymore. It's a 340 I... something. No. But that's for a hit my nip in the beginning. So this is a. <laughs> it's a live run. Yeah. You just, you know. That's cool. You can't really go for my nip with uh, no snags, at least in a marathon no. setting. It would um, take too long. Imagine if this Torkoal had drought. That would be problematic. <laughs> don't, don't say it. What's gonna happen in the remakes if they eventually make one? They're not. They're they not. Game Freak already came forward and said they hate these games in a um, very nice language. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so this is where Umbreon would lose some time, and this is where Crocs can gain some time. So coming out of this fight, they should be neck and neck. Neck and neck. Yep. Why? Well, simple. Crocodile can just surf. We're no. not surfing. Oh, Earthquake. no, wait, Earthquake. no, sorry. Earthquake. Earthquake. <laughs> I forgot. I, I thought the same. I actually forgot, Earthquake does more damage, despite the fact that Surface Sap is stab and super effective. Earthquake does not have that little feature where it does less damage. Yeah. The only thing to note is that you are self-damaging your own Espeon, which uh, I don't think is too much of a problem. It's if it crits, it's a problem, but it would never die. Not with my defense. If I were to run a mild Espeon, then I'd have to be worried, but if you're running mild Espeons, you have a problem. <laughs> True. I run mild espions. <laughs> My armor is mild. <laughs> I'm not confident in this. Yeah, Houndoom is a very annoying Pokemon to kill. It's got flash fire. So we have... So Espeon literally cannot hit it. Yep. We have return. Well, I have return. Never which mind. I will I use now. So this is why we buy your next attack here, actually. I should probably say can't hit with a special move. Yeah. And I've bad... Uh, I have bad attack, so I, I actually need the X attack here. Uh, if I didn't have bad attack, I wouldn't have needed the X attack. Yeah, the X attack is mainly safety. I mean, you're modest, you need it. Sometimes it can just be... Oh. Also, we're like... We're so tied now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ava's fight should be faster. 
my next one. Yeah. yeah. It depends on the lead. If I don't get Cacturn lead, it's not that bad. But with Cacturn lead, I just cry. Cacturn lead doesn't exist for, get for any percent. Get, 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 Cacturn, get Cacturn lead. It doesn't exist. Always Cacturn lead. <laughs> we saw it for like the first time in like two years, like earlier this year. It just almost never happened. <laughs> and we see it again. <laughs> it's been a weird year. What am I gonna get? Uh, Tropius. Oh, I got Cacturn lead. Whoa. Whatever. Game. <laughs> what? Making you look like a liar. You told so saying that, oh, Cacturn never happens. Zeke, it's not where, where is Zeke? Zeke, are you in the chat? Back me up. <laughs> not a real thing. It never lead. happened. And now today, we see not one, but two Cacturn leads. So I don't know what kind of story you guys are on about. <laughs> <laughs> I call shenanigans. Nah, it's fine. It's fine. Cacturn. Look, we're not going to see it for the rest of the year. I'm calling this, it now. This is good for me. So I'm cooking. It's fine. You talk about I, no Cacton lead. What is this? I need to take everything I can get at this point, so. No. Yeah, especially after that one one fight, you had you definitely need to crawl back up to yep. the top. Yep. Again, Ava's last fight is a long one. Yeah, it's on average gonna lose me a lot of time, but. She could get a really slow combo, uh, and that could be close to even with one of mine. Yeah. So, it's still... This has been surprisingly close, the close. all the way up until now. And, like, I wiped the Gons app. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, your, your run was going great. Yeah. Yeah, one minor. One minor issue. Uh, like, oh. Yeah. Uh, I really don't like being solo on Hypers. How low are you? Five. Is that low? Oh. I don't like it. I like having like, <laughs> I have, like as many as I can. I have like three. <laughs> I think in any percent you just need one yeah. for the end. You usually you, two if things go. I won't a need weird. more than what I have currently from here. Good. I, I I heal automatically going into the next fight anyway, so I don't even need to heal here. Are you ready for your favorite song? True. Ah yes. This is the best song. The next song is gonna be the best song in the entire game. That's an important nice. one to hit. And I think we should have audience participation okay. for this next song as well. Oh, yeah, yes. Everyone sing along. Yes. Yes, they're not baiting you at all. Trust me. I, I Trust promise. me, we are not baiting you. This next song is the best song in the entire game. It goes so hard. Yeah. It really does. Oh, we're, we're just so tired. Oh, it's 6 o'clock. Uh, shout outs to the 6 o'clock sauna gang at ESA. Damn. Yeah, you did do 6 o'clock sauna. You're, you're, you're wild. After this run, I will be going to the sauna. <laughs> oh my god. I cannot believe you. It's like the next sauna I'm game. But we, Riku, we, t we keep telling you, it's 20 more minutes. Oh my god, look at this sink. <laughs> oh, now there's double. That's so good. Oh my god. So, we're fighting the boss of Cypher. Everyone, quiet. Best song in the game. Sing along. You just have to say war a song this is. Uh, does Corpse Blaze again? Shoutouts to Randall, who's got like the best parody of this, or the best uh, cover of this song. You guys are doing great for the audience participation of the song. Woo! It's crazy. Let's go so hard. Feel free to screenshot. No. Yeah, I don't know if they forgot to put a, a song. Uh, no, they probably did this intentionally, right? Surely? <laughs> That's what I think. No way, it's not intentional. <laughs> If it's not intentional, I would. It would be curious. I don't know too much about NASCAR com combos in terms of like timings, so I don't know who got the better lead. Um, uh, I can is, tell you, I didn't get a, be a good is, one. This is good for me. Uh, this is a five-turn fight. Okay. All right. We know who has the better lead, but uh, it really comes down to one fight. It yeah. really. Does. It does. I mean, I mean, what am I talking about? What one, one fight? This is the last fight in the game. Oh yeah, yeah, you're right. Last fight. No more after this. So, yeah, definitely no more after. No, no more fight. We're definitely, definitely not going to get like a plot twist. No. The mayor? No. No, never. No, no plot twist. As long as Gardevoir targets Espeon here, we're we're cooking. I'm gonna check. Uh, should. You're 42. It should, but I'm gonna check. 
Uh, so uh, that's 132. One oh, it does target Umbreon. Because uh, it has lower special. Uh, wait, I was not prepared for that. Um, if they are, there we go. Oh. Okay, that took some time. Um, so, so now I actually go after Wolverine. Allegedly. Well, we'll see. Oh. Oh, ex expect. Literally doesn't matter. So I haven't. We haven't talked about this, but yeah, some trainers have items, and for NASCAR, he's got a 25% chance to use items each turn. He's got X specials, and he's got full heals. But they actually can't use their full heals, or their full restores until they use their X items. So every turn, you're kind of just 25% chance for them to use it. Yeah. It does take up their turn, though, so sometimes it can make the fight awkward. Sometimes it can make the fight free. Yeah. Like, and if, if it uses them on a crucial turn, then, you know, it's good. Hopefully we're fine here. They can also be time loss. You can just use them on the last turn. That's a 15 and 16 range. So. Yeah, it's weird. I, I lost time because I got caught off guard because something that was supposed to happen didn't happen, basically. <laughs> so I'm having an issue in this fight because two important Pokemon uh, outspeed me, the Blaziken and the Gardevoir. So... Uh, just trying to find a way to deal with that, but I think I'm through for now, because this Zatu just spams Confuse Ray. Oh, and it's doing it on for Alligator, so that's even better. This is totally fine. So this guard now dies, and then I just finish up Metagross on the last turn. Because uh, Metagross are in defenses, because it's very silly. Yep, shout out to the AI. Yeah, Love AI. It doesn't kill, it's just gonna go for setup because, you know, why wouldn't it go for anything else? Yep. Too bad that we are special attackers and not physical attackers. This Metagross also has like the worst moves that ever. <laughs> Iron Defense and what you want. It has like Shadow Rush. Uh... Shadow Rush on 130 attack is not the worst thing. It does like Extra no Sentry. Extra Sentry. It. No Psychic, okay. It's. It's bad. This oh, yeah. Metagross is bad. You're done with the final fight, right? This is like the final fight. There's no fight after this. Oh, fight. yeah, true, true, true. Uh, There's not going to be like a plot twist of anything. Never, never. Oh, no, no, no. This is the champion. He's the champion of his region. Yeah, clearly. <laughs> yeah, it's like the Elite Four and the champion. There's no, there's no, there's no one else. Right. What? What is this? Didn't we hear this theme at the start of the game? We might have. I don't remember. Oh. I wasn't actually paying attention to the music. Here's, Yo, here's, it's the mayor. Congratulating you. He's here to save the day. Yeah. He's going to say hello. Oh. Okay. Wait. What? What? Why is the music gone? Wait. No way. No way. Dr. Hudsman 601's the bad guy this entire time? I, for one, am shocked. D colon. Very, very shocked. I actually cannot believe it. Anyways, let's see what lead I get. <laughs> All right. By the way, this is the worst fight in the entire game. It's the hardest fight. It's the hardest fight. At, at, at some over. point, it was 90% win rate for him. Yeah, it's bad. Uh, yeah, this is a pretty bad lead. Uh, I think the best it's lead is not Cloaking Swacking. Yes, on, on Umbreon, that's the best lead, yeah. So we would... So Scissor lead is not ideal. No, but we can't take Scissor out immediately. So you, you can't afford bad. any mistakes on this fight, too. Yeah. You you don't have a backup Pokemon. Plus, so once Puzzle dies... You, you have Umbreon, that's it. It's extremely hard to recover. Let's see what we get here as the next Pokemon. And clacking. Okay, so this is actually a really, really good. I mean, the reason why it's uh, good is because, well, slack Sloking is actually not going to be doing anything this turn, really. This is because if Sloking is on the field on the same time as Slacking, Sloking will always go for skill swap because it's yes. literally programmed to do so. It's a kind of a cool strategy because it's trying to get Truant off uh, Slacking, but uh, it is a... Uh, it is a thing. Slacking is pretty dangerous of a Pokemon. I needed to make sure I was reading things correctly here. <laughs> so an Ava's fight is going to be longer. There's a Tyranitar, and all we have is Hidden Power Fire. Yeah, we have and to set up the plus. And it's a two-shot at plus six. Oh, okay. Plus at plus oh. five, a two-shot uh, range. As as for uh, Farrah, she got... Is this a good lead? Yes, it is. It's, it's for safe, because um, we'll get Earthquake turn one. And slacking can't attack turn two. Yep. 
Nice. So it's safe. Now it can, but... So I don't... But it's this fine. Is, <laughs> this is a close race. This is a very close race. Basically. This fight will decide who wins. And it is an advantage to the Pharaoh. I think this is the fight where Blazol leaves like a concern for. But the sun, I don't... Double protect, okay. It's Wait, also turn, easier turn for Das. Like, Ava has to think. X attacks doesn't matter. Yeah, it's more straightforward yeah. for sure. Okay. This is the this is the fight that has a twenty page notes, by the yeah. way. And most of the time, the notes you get off the notes, you can't follow them. Yeah. When we first routed this, I was like, I'm not making twenty pages of notes, so I just improvise every time. I just got really good at this fight. <laughs> if you can understand what the AI will do every turn, like I said, there's always a the right play. Yeah. Oh. X attacks, that makes it a little awkward. Wait, what Think do I even do well, now? Um, well, Slowking's not going to have a turn next turn. Well, Protect failed, so you can either go again. Uh, um, yeah, sure, I can, I, yeah, I can just set up, right? Yeah, because Protect failed. Yeah, and then just Protect again. I don't know how that'll change for Slowking with Loaf. You have to uh, I think that. he's going to loaf this turn, right? Yeah. Yeah, but now my, the That's notes fine. might be off a little bit for that. Uh, yeah, but we'll, we'll, we'll adapt. Uh, so always like, take always take out Mance here, right? Yeah, like these fights are nine turns, and again, 25% chance to use X items. So, like, you'll <laughs> you'll have a notes, and then you'll have to have if X, X items on this turn, this turn, this turn, or this turn. It's way too many notes. Not every branch is covered. It's way too much notes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So probably heal. Yeah, heal and take up my champ. Looks good to me. Uh, Again, twenty-five percent chance to heal. If we keep missing that twenty-five percent chance, that'd be ideal. Yep. And uh, yeah. Well, oh, actually, a twenty-five percent chance this turn to heal wouldn't be that bad because then next turn it just loafs around. Yes, but Sloking is also very hard to kill. Even at plus six, Psychic is our best move against this. Sloking needs to die before Titar, for me. Okay. No, uh, yeah, that's correct, right? Because I just die to Titar plus Sloking currently. I think so. So uh, Sloking actually needs to die first, which I can do. I can bite with Umbreon and then protect. So. And then Titar is fine. Titar doesn't kill. Uh, I can even go to plus six, probably. Okay. Ava has the last two Pokemon out. Uh, yeah, the Slokin is going to die to Bite here. Yeah, this time right now has the last two Pokemon. Yeah, out. so it's literally just two Pokemon right now between the two. Oh, no, no! The Full Restore! The full restore. Uh, well, uh, what, uh, oh, what's the maths there now? Uh, how high are you? Are you plus five? Six? Yes. Then plus you can probably kill Slokin hmm. with Psychic. Uh, I'm gonna set up one more turn, because I don't that die from I don't die to Titar here. Yeah. No. Uh, that's unfortunate. That's gonna be the decider, but that's fine. I, yeah, I will say, I say. I, I think it was still Croc favored. Uh, yeah, but maybe I could Espeon have hasn't pulled something. Uh, on Pharaoh's side, has a little bit of an easier time because it's a little hidden power electric, being able to just take care of Sloking very easily. Yeah, and you have and or normal da and also normal damage on. Nice. Like, you even have an Earthquake as well, but you probably yeah. don't want a self-Earthquake. Yeah. The, the issue with Ava was the Hidden Power Fire. You have to oh, this is a single target stuff. Yeah. 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 And it still doesn't oh, do that much. Oh, it hits Thunder again. No, it doesn't matter because Hidden Power oh, Electric oh. at plus four will Not kill. Bad. Crit. <laughs> yeah, actually crit. Uh, well, yeah. Who, who, who will get the move off first? Yeah, that's true. Uh, it looks like this Faro, because I need to heal. Uh, or I just lose. No, no, no. I think you still get the move off. Ah, uh, that's oh. good to get the move off. Yeah, but... Crit, 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 make crit? it so close. Oh. Not very no! Effective. No! <laughs> if it crit, <laughs> one it so turn epic. Short, one turn <laughs> short. It would so my slow money wouldn't have mattered anyway. No. Yeah, that's the last fight for me. That's crazy. That's so <laughs> close. <laughs> it actually came down to one turn. Yeah. yeah, wild. At One. Top end, they're really, they are really close. Um, Crocodile is just slightly faster, ideally. Yeah. Yeah. I currently, the fastest Croc time on the leaderboard is currently slower than the fastest 
I'm real time with the leaderboards, but that's just because no one runs Croc. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> that was that was unreal. Yeah. Came down to that heel. It literally came down literally to the wire, and honestly, that fight that you lost really did decide a lot. Oh yeah, we'd been done five minutes I ago. about that. <laughs> I would have been done five minutes ago if I didn't lose to Gonzap. I looked at my time entering Gonzap, and I looked at my time re-entering Gonzap. It was five minutes. <laughs> I'm just gonna skip to the end here and just finish before. <laughs> <laughs> it just sand back a little bit, you know. Forget to mash. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, make it close. Don't actually <laughs> Don't actually do that. <laughs> I'm still gonna try to do it as fast as possible though. Oh, I Time ends in the when as soon as we see the black screen. Fine. Nice. <laughs> what a race. You were, oh, crazy. you were literally behind from the very beginning. Yep. And then not <laughs> until the very last fight. And then gone zap. Just have to mash. Just have to see ending, the fate of black. And then that will be it. And underestimate. And... That is Pokemon wow. Coliseum. Wow, within 30 seconds. That's so close. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay, I'm shaking. <laughs> I am fine. Okay, so uh, we need to catch up with the schedule, so I'll keep it brief. Thank you for having me again today. This is my third race in a row. It's also my third win in a row. I hope next time I win, I'm not on a fucking race. <laughs> Um, I'm sorry for the technical issues. I don't know if you noticed my screen was doing weird resolution thing at times because I'm running on emulator. I had to fly on a low cost so I couldn't bring my Wii. Yeah. Uh, this was like janky setup, but it worked out. And I, um, yeah, I hope you enjoy the rest of USA. I'll be here tomorrow doing commentary for FF6 with Dain Witari. Yeah, for which I named my for alligator for <laughs> just <laughs> foreshadowing for that run. Stick around to watch it. Yeah. Anything I'll, else you want to say? I'll just say, like, uh, I'm going to keep it short. Thank you so much for bearing with me throughout this entire long run and uh, talking about fish a little bit and talking about black cats and, you know, having fun with Umbreon and Croc because that's kind of hard, you know? <laughs> you need good company for that. So I'd just like to give a huge thank you to the commentators, especially to Juan or both to both Juan and Chris just for coming out like this. And you weren't even going to be on commentary until like two days ago. And then we're just like, yeah, sure, you can join. And I, yeah. th I think it worked out really well. I think so, too. I yeah. hope so. It was great. <laughs> It's great having you on. I mean, we still can't be friends since you like Mantine. But. True. I didn't say I liked Mantine. I just said I didn't mind it. Yeah, yeah. we can't be friends. Okay, fine. But yeah, that's, that's been it's for me this event. Uh, I've been here four events in a row right now, so I guess it's uh, <laughs> everyone's probably getting fed up by me at this point. <laughs> uh, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. Uh, it's been a pleasure just getting to show this game that I've been wanting to show at so many events <sighs> and and getting to show the, of this more unique and alternate round compared to the normal any percent round. So yeah, that's. Everything I have to say, if anyone wants to try to speed on these games, you can join the Discord. We have a ton of resources and a ton of helpful people looking at him uh, uh, that will be able to help you out with anything you want. Yeah, I mean, I, they said it all. <laughs> Stick around for more ESA, guys. See you. Yep. See ya. Ciao. They Bye. Say Ciao. It, yes. Oh, and we still have two donations left oh. in order to. Uh, let me just quickly read it. Uh, $10 from uh, DJ Hef. Who says uh, good luck, Pharaoh? Well, a little bit too late, but <laughs> thanks, Eve. <laughs> <laughs> well, she needed it and she got it. <laughs> I, yeah, and she actually got it. And five dollars, five dollars from YTB renewed eighty six. Who says my opinion of Pokemon Coliseum based on my limited familiarity with it. What I like uh, the least about it, it is how often some some tracks of music are repe repeatedly reused. And what I like the most is how impossibly adorable some of the characters happen to be. <laughs> Even the human characters. No, especially the human <laughs> characters. Uh, and with that, we're gonna cut to intermission. And we're gonna see you on the next one. Bye.